What's up guys, Sarah Houdini here and welcome to The Artful Escape. This is a beautiful, psychedelic, mind-bending adventure. One of a kind and I've been wanting to play this for a while. It's an indie game created by an awesomely named team, Beethoven and Dinosaur. <laughs> right there, lovely timing, I swear I don't time these things. But this looks absolutely amazing, if you couldn't tell, it's a, a, a love story to all things musical and what appears to be very Pink Floyd inspired if you couldn't tell we're gonna get some laser Floyd in here uh, this is one of those games that kind of showed up in a lot of Xboxes E3s and that and we always wondered like where is it when's it coming out but it is out it is here baby and we are about to have a beautiful musical time hell yes the joys of music combining music and video games together is is like the perfect thing you know like I, I think if I was to give a choice between music and video games I'd have to pick music because I cannot live without music every day. It is the soundtrack of my life. It keeps me going, keeps me hyped. Video games, I love too, but my god, music. Music is, is like my heartbeat. Hope you guys are excited for this. I also might play a little Back for Blood later as well. Seeing as we, we got a little Xbox thing going on. Wow! So get your air guitars ready, because we're going in, baby! This is the Artful Escape. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's move over. All slick. Hello, DPG. How you doing? How you doing? Well, happy hump day, my friend. Uh, yeah, I have I have a controller. Oh, hold on now. This thing's acting goofy. Not gonna lie, I have I kind of. See. Just gonna. There we go. Wow, that's loud. I must have thought I was. Looking out my controller. So who knows? Who knows? Yes, I heard about the Uncharted trailer. I saw it got leaked, so that kind of forces their hand, right? Uh, apparently, we've got um, Tom. What's his name? We've got. Uh, I can never think of his name. He's basically jumping out of an airplane, which is very reminiscent of Uncharted Three. I don't know if we'll get a, a trilogy out of the Uncharted movies. We'll see how how well this one does first, right? No, today's Thursday. My god, I didn't think it was Wednesday. It's my brain. So it's all set in 1972. This looks gorgeous. Got Nephew of Johnson Vendetti. We got beautiful music playing. God of War Uncharted The Legacy Collection is really... Yeah! I was called Uncharted The Legacy Collection. Interesting. I had heard it was called it's like the anthology. Yeah, people are... As usual, the PlayStation fans going crazy over like... As they see it, like losing exclusives, which is nonsense. These are incredible games. The more people get to play them, the more these studios get to make more incredible games. That's how it works. So we should be celebrating this. Yeet! Hello, Lacuna! Hello, hello. Welcome in, lads. I appreciate you coming through. We are playing a brand new indie game called The Artful Escape. It's from an awesomely named studio named Beethoven and Dinosaur. It's a psychedelic adventure all based around music. Think like. Uh, platformer meets Guitar Hero. Let's begin. I hope you're doing well. We might play some Back for Blood after this as well. I just installed so much stuff on, on the Xbox. Uh, this is also on the Game Pass. This is always uh, a helpful little thing for me, for sure. Alright, I don't think there's anything we need to mess around with here. Let us begin. Beautiful. Crazy when it released on Steam. Yeah. He's the one actually singing. That's clever. So if you guys have Back for Blood installed or downloaded, um, we could play together as crossplay. Get some zombie action, Left 4 Dead inspired. Here we go. Dude, he's got kind of a Bob Dylan vibe to him. Strum a folk ballad about the toil of a miner's life. Hold X. <laughs> As if it was that easy. If only. Alright, we can turn it up now. It's just a little bit loud when we jumped in. Play a folk anthem about the green acreage of, of Calypso, Colorado. There's a place in Colorado called Calypso. Nice. 
whole point of having exclusives is just that they're exclusives. Well, I'm all for everyone to be able to. I know, I know. That's an old way of thinking, you know. It's an old way of thinking. I get it, though. I get it. You want to have a reason to buy the console. But at the end of the day, no matter what way you look at it, these consoles, even at their highest being $500, that's still only the price of a GPU. So it's always the cheap entry. Shred a sci-fi guitar odyssey. Hold X. Now we're talking. Let's go. Oh, shit. Damn. Some devious licks right there. But I do feel you, Lacuna. I do I do get, you know, you want to have a reason to buy these consoles. And that's always the games. God, that is sick. Uh, who are you? Dude, could I pull off rose tinted your glasses? Could I? Match your sound. Oh, sorry. That's true. He he do be looking a bit preppy, right? That that um building in the background there kind of looks like Dante's Inferno with the nine circles of hell. But yeah, I, I do. I completely understand where you're coming from. I, I obviously, you know, when you first pick a console, you're gonna pick it for the games mainly, right? Always be better than any console. That's it's true, but you know, I'm definitely with the new car games coming to it, but. Uh, it's not without its issues, you know. I have never once installed a PC game without having some bullshit attached to it, you know. Whether, whether a controller's half working, whether it needs a mod to fix something, whether it needs 75 updates. I know console games needs updates too. So, you know, it, it's, PC gaming's tough. It's obviously gotten way easier over the last, like, decade or so, for sure. But uh, it's still not. It's cheaper, you know, cheaper to buy games, cheaper in general. It might have a big um, money sink at the start, you know, to actually get your system. But uh, trust me, in the years and years of buying games, like for a couple of dollars sometimes, um, you definitely easily make that money back. And, you know, with the way things are now with streaming or editing or whatever you want to get into, having a really beast of a PC has definitely got many, many benefits gonna be $49 yeah that was a weird one I, I did see that in God of War it was a strange price point for $9.99 God of War in the entire Uncharted yeah so what's in the legacy collection are they gonna put um Lost Legacy in it I hope it's in the name you'd look sick with Rose Tint I, I was thinking of like I've been watching Seer he's always rocking them and then even Hassan Hassanabi he has some as well but I don't know and then I watch a good bit of Kit Boga who does the scam stuff and he always just wears giant aviator sunglasses and it's just like it freaks me out sometimes because he'll do the odd time where he'll take his glasses off and it's crazy he has he, he's one of those guys who has like the smallish eyes there's nothing wrong with that but it's crazy how accustomed and used to things we get that when he took his sunglasses off you felt like you were peering behind the mask almost he's a good dude uh one to five okay all five yeah yeah Love the look. Um, I hear that they're kind of sort of remastering or remaking um, Uncharted 4 and Lost Legacy for the PS5, right? They're going to give it a, a bit more than your average little spruce up. Uncharted 4 still looks incredible, you know? That that was one of those crazy couple of years where we got games that will forever go down as some of the best looking games ever. You know, even 10 years from now. Like Uncharted 4, uh, Batman Arkham, you know? Like, it's just crazy. Uh, and and Hellpoint, Hellblade. Damn it, I said Hellpoint lock. I love the look of the film for Uncharted. Yeah, hopefully it's good. You know, I don't know how he's gonna be able to pull off a taller, um, a taller Nathan Drake, but we'll see. Cool, but I don't know how well you could play a video game. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I don't think it would matter that much. Some of the, you can even. Uh, There's not what kind of color blend glasses do as well. All right, let's get into this. Sorry, Excuse I know I, it's hard to start a game when we just start a stream because we all want to chat and stuff. But it's good. I appreciate you guys you being here. Like drift drift what do you think of those twin like pigs over there? Nasty. Complete tonal disconnect. So who's this chick? Gives me anxiety. Okay, the speech bubbles make me think of Oxen Free. If you haven't played Oxen Free, you really should. Great game. Uh, it's also oh, got a sequel coming sorry. out. Sorry, that, that was. Yeah, I'm, I'm usually much more serious. I play folk music. You look like you do. Yeah, that's the problem. I mean, I everybody want to be Dylan, show? but you can't be Dylan. My first show. Uh huh. But after a while, it feels like I'm strumming backwards, and my mind wanders away. Where to? J.K. Simmons to play Sully. That would be perfect. 
He'd have to grow some hair or wear a wig. A wig. A wig. A wig. Uh, and Mark as Nathan Drake and Tom. Yeah, yeah. The problem with Mark Wahlberg is he can't act. That's the only problem. I think the only movie that uh, I think he did a great job acting wise in that was like in Fear and those old game, all, all the movies. But now he's just like, just phone it in. Same stuff every movie. Like you couldn't tell a difference in, between like one of the Transformers movie he was in and then any of the newer stuff he did. It's just the same thing, just with a different name. Even Ted, he's just the same. Shame stuff. Let's see, so depending on how I pick it here, this is going to change how the game goes. Mid Nebula, suspended on a sunbeam. I like that, actually. Mid Nebula, suspended. So, like I said, this is like a, a, a psychedelic platformer yes, mixed with Guitar lost, Hero. Which a is little good. bit of Guitar Hero. I find lost young men are in the business of irrational and dangerous decisions. Wouldn't you agree? I'm the danger dad buck. No, I wasn't listening. Yes, that's me. I'm sure about dangers, but I am irrational. I would go wasn't listening. Uh, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I need you to accompany me to the summit on Leaf Road Ridge. Cool. I'm going to commit a crime. Who are you? What's the crime? Okay, I'll do it. I'm in. Okay. Don't need any more information. I knew you would. So any of you guys committed dangerous licks yet? I think it's all kind of done now. People have been handed like citations and they're gonna get go and put in jail over these dangerous licks. Dope. Don't say dope. It's pretty. There was another game as well that came out, uh, or didn't come out, but it was shown at E3, like this game, The Artful Escape. It was called The Last Night. And it's another one that just hasn't come out yet, but this one finally has, and it's pretty special. Now, the game you might have seen me play at the demo of, uh, Echo Generation, uh, that is also out on Game Pass right now, and that's pretty special. Just keep a, keep an eye out. You might see me playing that really soon. But yeah, we got so many great games. I can't wait to show you all the surprises I've got. And uh, yeah, we're even going to get go back into time and do a little PS3 gaming as well. Kids come here you guys got any uh, suggestions or something you'd like to see me play? Don't ever be afraid to let me know. A lot of folks moving on from Calypso. I wonder is the real place called Calypso? Calypso! I like how he, he moves. He's got this kind of floppiness to him, like he's a puppet on strings. Kind of looks like a fun adventure movie. Yeah, that's it, right? I, I want to see it do well. I'd love to see. There's so many video games out there that I think could make fantastic movies. Like I was saying about Kena Bridge of Spirits, you know? Because uh, I think um, children's animation movies are so dry and broken now there's so like we'll never have toy story again the fact that you have to wait for toy story 4 and 5 just to feel something again is horrendous and even just going back over the years it was like turkey movies and oh, all this just nonsense even disney's like sliding by the wayside and they've kind of hit um, uh, a stomping ground where they'll do a movie that works for kids and adults and it's the only way they can resonate with people but um yeah, I, I want to see videos. There's so many great... Like, I want the Mario movies to do well. I want all this stuff to do well, of course. It's huge. Like, like I, as much as Sonic is such a, a, a weird one nowadays, um, I was so glad to see that changed and, and do well. And it's super fun. Jim Carrey definitely holds it all together, you know? Hopefully in the next movie, just, as usual, less human interaction. Just give us what we came and paid for. Just give us Sonic and Tails and... Uh, Jim Carrey is, is Dr. Eggman, please. Bernie, hello! How's it going, man? How are you guys doing? Hope you're all, your week's going well. I didn't end up streaming yesterday. Wednesdays are always really, really tough. I end up, uh, get finished very late. And by the time I get in, I might have, like, um, you know, working on no energy. So you're, like, overtired. Which ends up being funny streams, but I end up just passing out and... Yeah. It's all gravy, baby. So this is going to be his stage, huh? Johnson Vendetti. Where did this come from? After party for your show. Oh. Rami's gonna move the crowd up here after the liquor license scratches. The skiffle band is playing. We gotta spruce this place up. I'll give him a chance. Really love skiffle. Good for them. They're quite forceful with their opinions on skiffle. <laughs> I'll give him a chance. Plug into the amp on stage. I'll patch you in. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't know how he modded his acoustic guitar to play electric like that. That's sick. Of course not. I don't know. It was kind of crazy. It looked like he created a little amp or something on the guitar itself. I think the film's focused on Charter Tree. Yeah, I was, think I was thinking that for sure. 
All right, here we go. Play folk ballet. No, no, we need to go back to that sci-fi goodness. Stop. No Johnson Vendetti clone folk. Clone folk, I like that. It's so true. So many po- Look at her, man. She's straight out of the future. What is this? Do you ever see those guys do like uh, like Sushi Dragon and stuff? They have some crazy green screen effects. And he wears all that kind of stuff up his arms and that. That guy, you know, he might, he might be a little scuffed or whatever. But uh, he he's he looks like a fut what future streaming could be, you know? The lookout. Oh, no. Seriously? That's nonsense. Berlin, Spain. Oh, nice. Very European. Hey, when it comes to nonsense... I'm that makes sense this. about the, the leak, uh, having them jump out of an airplane, DPG. That was from Uncharted 3. Alright. Hold X to whale! Ow! No, not that one. Play again. No, oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's so good. That's worse than the first one. If you say so. I love it. Bonanza, that's it. What did you do? You creating some futuristic Bill and Ted's adventure? There's things about to get bogus. Anyone watch the new Bill and Ted? Nothing. I haven't yet. Valves. Valves, yeah, right. She's from the Later. future. This is gorgeous. Wait, is this Rami stuff? You're stealing valves from Rami? Yeah, so? Yeah, dude. Cha. He killed a man in Boulder. Everyone says so. Mm hmm. Punched him in the neck. I know. How do people wear those glasses I'm that Francis. don't have. Like, Francis they just sit them good. on their nose? I know who you are, kid. I saw the flyers. There's a very tiny picture of you on it. Oh. Francis Spendetti. I never signed off on the flyers. A struggling folk artist to about to rip a hole in the universe. Been too scared to try. You gotta wake up, buddy. You got talent. It's time to show the world. Hey, squirrel! I love you, squirrel. This is so pretty. Wow. Great big world. So Colorado, what, what what mountains are those? Is that the Rockies? It's beautiful. I don't know my geography. I know the Rockies like span the whole, nearly the whole of America though. So it's almost yeah, a safe bet just to go. Really are those the Rockies? <laughs> you shred pretty well. He do. He do be shred. Thanks. I know. Let's not get cocky. Thanks. Not yet. Anyway. So you're standing in the shadows of... What how long the movie is going to be? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping we can start seeing movies kind of shrink a little bit. Like, two hours and 30 minutes should be the ultimate maximum, you know? At that point, like, when I used to uh, grow up watching... Uh, first watching, like, all the mobster movies. Like, things like Sergio Leone movies. And, you know, Once Upon a Time in America. Those were three hours, three and a half movies. Those are, like, gangster epic movies. Like, there's no business a Marvel movie being that long. It's nonsense. Yeah, I have to be falling asleep. I gotta watch those movies in like three or four stints just to get them all. It ain't so bad. It's just that I guess folks think they know who I am. Where I should be going. He doesn't even know that. Have you considered becoming someone else entirely? Yes! How do you mean? I tell you about it someday. I gotta scram. Stay weird, kid. Stay weird. Hey, yes. Will I see you around town? It's the best advice you can give someone. Stay weird. You know Lightman's in Calypso? In Calypso? There's no such place. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. This guy is not going to be able to climb down this tree without breaking his ass. Someone else entirely. It's time to reinvent yourself, dude. Gotta rip a booty hole. <laughs> the artful escape. I love it. No problem watching really long films. Watch YouTube video. That's true. That is true. We are so scatterbrained, though. Like, and I even on the point of that, how many of us have been binge watched the whole show in one sitting? So it'd be four hours, six hours more, you know. So it all just finds out I was up here when his comes down stolen. to how 
exciting what's happening on the screen is keeping your attention. Well, I'd rather not think about it. I'm gonna book it back to town and forget the whole thing. Book it, baby. But I, I, one of, one of my favorite things to do is to find movies that are around like an hour and a half. It's the sweet spot. It's so perfect. You don't lose half the day. You've just sat down and watched an amazing movie. A game by Beethoven and Dinosaur. These shots, I'm getting like serious Wes Anderson vibes. It's crazy. You know? Like Fantastic Mr. Fox. And the Royal Tenenbaums. All of his movies have this uh, kind of very... This is awesome. I hope none of this is DMCA. Or Cyber will be going far away. <laughs> And you've got nowhere. <laughs> like, the game give you a midlife crisis vibes. Oh, yeah, see, what happens if you have a midlife crisis when you're 12 years old? That happened to me. <laughs> it can happen. You know? As you grow older, you tend to have a couple of awakenings. A couple of existential crises. Crises? Look, that's pure Bob Dylan right there, my god. Even the hair. <clears throat> incredible uh, production value on this one. These indie games are just climbing and climbing. Wow. I can't keep up. Bay's new movie, Ambulance. Oh, I don't know. Here's the thing. I am a sucker for Michael Bay movies, right? Transformer movies just kind of went slowly down, but they're still always kind of a good time. I love like The Rock and uh, did he do Con Air? I don't know if he did Con Air. No, he didn't do Con Air. That was like Chris Columbus or something. Yeah. So I became a streamer. Cha <laughs> You're not wrong. This place is lovely. I don't know why it gives me like Seattle vibes. It's not. It's Colorado. You little bastard. <laughs> Damn, Granny's got a mouth on her. What's up, Granny bitch? <laughs> My love. Oh, she's like a super fan, creepy. Goldie, you lose it? Oh. Oh, perhaps a bit. Oh, she's got like Alzheimer's or something. Oh. I have a ticket in a recital. Got a lot of new material. Probably now. I think it's a bit more than a recital. Like this is ten I years old. When you're beneath those you little bastard. <laughs> a glimpse of my old friend. Uh, Goldie, you don't think? You'll you'll believe it's 1955. I hope so too. Oh. I hope so too. Wants to do her proud. You look like him, you know. Your uncle. I know, Goldie. I really do. That's why everybody thinks he's just like his uncle. You always need a good movie to switch your brain off and enjoy in flashy colors. Exactly. Yeah, epileptic fits for everybody. <laughs> Undeniably haunted. Possible hub of underage drinking. Nice. Yeah, so if you see a little bit of texture pop in and all that, uh, trust that it's just my old Xbox. It's like a, at this point, it's like an eight-year-old machine. I definitely need to upgrade. And hopefully I will. Thank you, Lacuna, for that host. You rock, man. Cheers. I appreciate those. Lacuna and I couldn't agree with you as well. I, I too, also became a streamer a long, long time ago. In my day! Why does he look like Harry Potter? Yeah, I can, I can see that a little bit. Yeah. I can see that. Oh, yeah. Man of the hour. Jesus, flyers are everywhere. See, they're, they're all positioned. Like, the, the the picture of Johnson Vendetti is actually bigger than Francis, and he's the guy performing. Yo, I've never seen he's so trying to step out of his town. uncle's shadow. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, that's it. You listen to that record? Yeah. Damn it, bot. Don't be spitting them out at the same it, time. Actually. And DPJ as well. Cheer. Ah, lads, thanks a million. Now that's you don't gotta do that. You're too good. It all helps, trust me. What with you being a I, I always compare it to like people musician? changing the channel over to a show so everybody can watch this kind of thing. Is that way of hosting? I don't know. I don't know. You ever heard of Lightman's? Mm. Junk sci-fi sci movie. movie. Oh no. Movie. A, yeah, I was I was comparing the the speech bubbles to a game called Oxenfree, which is another great indie game. It's kind of a mix of like ET meets. The Last Starfighter, if you've ever watched that. It's really cool. Or even like something like Flight of the Navigator. It's just old school. And they're actually making a sequel to it. It's really fun. E.T., X-Files. Yeah, sort, sort of like that. Yeah. I can just keep throwing movies at it until something sticks. 
Well, I'll catch you later, Tom. I'll catch you later, Tom. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I always got it. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I think I might... I, I'm at the point where I don't know if I should get, like, a Series X or an S. But I definitely need to Which step up my Xbox. Much quieter. Lately, GameStop will be like, we'll, we'll throw a few extra bob at you. So, if I could get, like, 100 or 120 euro for an old Xbox... You know, that's a bargain. That takes a nasty chunk out of one of them. It gets quieter each summer. The, the issue is say. trying to find one, though, right? People are here for the anniversary of my Have you been enjoying your PS5, Lacuna? You happy you got it? It's kind of like a festival. Everyone's pretty excited. You better be. Get excited. Nice fountain. Oh, look at that bridge up there. Sold out. Oh, wow. One is going to get nervous. The Johnson Vendetti Festival ends tomorrow night. Finale is at the Salty Seagull, where Johnson Vendetti's nephew will take the stage for the first time. The Salty Seagull. I love that. That's me. Seagulls are quite, aren't they? They're quite salty. They're always angry. Mine, 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 mine. You know, they're salty beggars. You avoiding me, son? Oh, is that his dad? And they're also robbing chips. So they probably are salty. No, Rummy, no. I find you very intimidating. Well. What am I doing, Francis? Francis. You. I'm smiling. That's a smile? That's it. <laughs> and when I'm smiling... You know I don't mean nothing shady or untoward. Despite the gravity. Why is he of the still pointing at himself? Speaking. I liked Oxen. I uh, binged Jansen. Oh yeah, that would yeah. Oxen Free was actually one of the first series I did, uh, so I can't wait for the sequel. Actually, it, it definitely it left a, a, an impression on me. But I could tell it was just it was this close to like showing something amazing and didn't it, it held back so i'm hoping for the sequel they won't you know because it's all about this other like parallel world got to do with like radio signals and things and the, the name oxen free comes from that uh that old game you know where people were like ollie Oli oxen free and stuff like that which i never really did myself but right. heard of it we got a full house tomorrow night tomorrow my face is friggin hurting i'm smiling so much when i say you will play songs exclusively from the personal repertoire of your uncle. Oh, God, that's the worst. That is the worst. So he's making him only play covers of his uncle's famous songs. That's ridiculous. How are you supposed to stand out? Oh. Or you will misplace. What a piece of crap. I would turn down the job at that point. I would turn down the job. Well, then, I suppose... We have an that guy is definitely a lot faster and smoother. Same thing, there's a lot, there a lot of features I like from 4 that didn't come back. Oh, crap. Hopefully, they'll start adding them in. Custom backgrounds, yeah, and the teams. They need to bring the teams, yeah. Everybody use Google and stuff. Well, it does open web pages. Maybe it's there somewhere. It's just buried. Because when I uh, click a link inside a game, it opens a web page, a Google page, where you have to use your analog stick to move the cursor, you know, that old way of doing it. Sure but I agree with you, and it definitely, we're, we're still in the infant ages of the PS5, where, you know, it would have been obviously nice to have Horizon Forbidden West, and, and we'll have God of War Ragnarok, so it's going to take a while to come into its own, and I think they're happy enough with that, they just, because they're already selling like crazy, they just uh, recently uh, sold, um, what was it, N the NPs, NPDs, where you, basically people hinge everything on these, where, the, you know, there's the hardware sales for the month, and uh, Nintendo Switch has been selling the most each month for the last 33 months, so almost three years, and uh, PS5 finally kind of knocked it off, but uh, uh, obviously these new consoles would would be selling way more if they could just make more, so it's, it's a good, you know, it's a good thing, even though there's a lot of frustrated people out there who can't get their hands on the consoles, I completely understand that, like, I've been trying to uh, pre-order the new um series x the the halo infinite one which is nice still black but it has beautiful like uh, gold trim and you know little symbols from halo and that be really nice i do want to play halo infinite we'll see it's not easy i think uh, once again the scalping stuff is just out of control like uh well just recently xbox uh, announced the mini fridge which is in the shape of the the series x you know it was kind of like a meme when people said the Series X was like a fridge, and then Xbox was like, ding, 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 we'll make a fridge, sell it, profit off a meme, and it's genius, it's very clever. But they also got scalped and sold within, they're like eighty nine ninety nine. they've been sold on eBay now for $400. People have absolutely 
no morals whatsoever. If it's for a quick buck, they don't care. They'll sell their grandmother on eBay. Their pastries are in the shape of a villain's gnarled grin. A villain? It's actually literally called Cafe Cliché. Oh, wow, it's got one. What did it call these again? It's a uh, funicular, I think, which is really cool. I, mostly, I would just have called them like a, like they're like a cable car, but some cities have these. They're called funicular. I think San Francisco has one. Really cool. It's like a sideways elevator. Or diagonal uh, uh, elevator. But that's cool. Uh, it's cool you got the, you remember that game from Jack Septic Guy. I, I'd love to get to that point. It'd be great to hopefully some of my streams or some of my series leave a, a lasting good impression or memories. That's why I love things like quotes and clips. Because they do. They give you, some of them give you that kind of, they hit you in the funny bone again. Or even a brief little bit of nostalgia. So I'm here for that for sure. Hey, you're Johnson Vendetti's kid. What up, dude? Struggling you. busker. Sure, whatever. Buskers in Ireland are, are huge, absolutely huge. Some of them have massive YouTube channels, like there was movies made on them. They're massive over here. Like you go near Henry Street, Grafton Street, you cannot move without. Like the same in Galway City as well. Anywhere that's kind of touristy, they know they're going to make a little bit extra money. But buskers are big in Ireland still to this day, which is it's really cool. Show, so it, it does, I think they add, like a lot of people think maybe... Maybe people don't like them, maybe think they're beggars or something. I don't see it that way. I think they add a flavor and a personality and, and quite a heart to uh, a city like Dublin or Galway or Ireland in general. I think they're as much a uh, part of Ireland as uh, as anything, you know, as potatoes or shamrocks. Won't check it out, though. And I love it. Okay, whatever. Don't mean nothing nasty, honestly. I'm sure you're a good kid. But you've got no chance. Of what? Johnson Vendetti was a folk mastermind. Screw this guy. Once in a generation. And genius ain't hereditary, kid. Well, always nice to get the thoughts of an industry heavyweight. Come on, man. Stick up for yourself. Come on. Don't take that on the chin. You're not trying to be your uncle. You're trying to stand out, remember? That's what this whole game's about. The artful escape. He's trying to escape all this. Everyone's... Oh, didn't let me do Cassandra, that. Cassandra, you're leaving? Oh, no. She's closing. What happened? Intrigue, laser lights, shops disappearing in the night. Ooh, there's a mystery. I won't put up with it. Who's got lasers? Don't mind all that. I'm leaving. Black magic is the elevator that goes sideways, right? <laughs> it's like Cabin in the Woods, if you ever saw that one. I have with the five right now is it feels very basic. Yeah, it's bare, it's a little bare bones, right? But I kind of like it for that because it's super fast. And I fear if they start adding all this stuff. It's going to be game over. One of my favorite things is just having the store on the front there and not having to have like three clicks to get into it and wait for it to load. Just to having it there. Like I've added so much stuff to my wish list that I would never have done. But the fact that it's just so easy to have it up there is, is really nice. Yours is the only shop I bother to steal. Is there anything in the Halloween sale you might pick up? If, if you're waiting on a uh, sale, they usually do an extra little like weekend sale right around Halloween. So yeah, and sometimes I, I tend to buy things right that day and, and play them. Lies, you can't lies. go into town Dublin without having a bunch. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, look, Donnybrook. That's probably she's talking about someone else, but uh, there's a Donnybrook in Ireland too. Here, choose a book. I just recently Not found out that in Canada there's a place South called New Glasgow. That blew my mind. Like I know a lot of, um, you know, Britain owns or whatever. You know, like you get the British Columbia, whatever way that works. So obviously a lot of stuff was named after. Uh, cities and towns over there, you know, that's where you got like New York from and all that But I didn't know there was a new Glasgow. That's so funny to me All right, so we got morbid. Uh, oh, I like that one already Morbid psychedelia. We got wings of Orion and then we got velcro chrome. Oh Using an illegal avatar a mutant rises through the aristocracy of a cyber city All right, a king disguises himself as a piece of overcast sky <laughs> What the hell? Oh my god, just a piece of sky walking around. A scientist poisons his town's water supply to appear to them as an alien being. Ooh, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think, guys? Which one should I pick? I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of uh torn between the first one and the third one. Hmm. Cause I like the I I don't like the cover of this one, Velcro Chrome. It's too basic, but I like the synopsis of it. I think that's really cool. Um, and then this one's kind of, but yeah, literally very morbid. I know the second one ain't doing it for me at all. 
We think I'm between one and three. Yeah, they do sound cool, right? We could go the morbid side of it. It sounds like it doesn't actually have aliens in it. It's just kind of brainwashing people. It's kind of kind of got a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde vibes. <clears throat> this one's more obviously cyberpunk. Using an illegal avatar. A mutant rises. I, I like that. Okay, we're going to go with Velgochrome. We're doing it. Whoa! This could change how cool the game gets. We'll see. We might be able to do them all. Whoa, Whoa dude! Well, aren't you going to thank me? Of course. I'm sorry. I think I was having an epiphany. An epiphany in my pants! An epiph of pants. Well, savor it, my friend. I will. What I wouldn't give for a good epiphany. <laughs> hey, you ever heard of a place called Lightman's? Francis, I don't think you want to be... Uh-oh. <laughs> Actually, no. Never mind. I've never heard of it. Oh, she knows so something. Come along. Go practice. Lightman's, it was, it's probably like some old speakeasy or something. Or a, or a haunted place, you never know. Can we go back here? That sucks that she's got to close down. You see that happening a lot Plant now. Page. Expensive books, minimal security. Minimal security. You, are you shoplifting, you son of a gun? Uh, the only ones that I don't really like are preachers. But the Eastern one, yeah, yeah, for real. No one needs that kind of stuff. I cannot stand that kind of stuff. Anybody forcing... Like, like you know, Bible bashers are just as bad as, like, People are vegans who push their agenda on people. It's like, wh why why do that? Can we go over here, too? Cool. I think we were here before, were we? Nope. I never recognize anyone who eats here. Probably a hub for time travelers. Time travelers? Oh, you might be right. Hold on, let's answer the phone. Um, uh, hello? Francis Van Denny. The pleasure's all mine. Mayor Swartz here. What the hell is the mayor ringing a random payphone for him? How did you know? I like to have my ear to the ground, my boy. Felt the vibration. <laughs> the big show. It's a kooky man uh, right there. Rounding off the corners. Excellent, excellent, really. Raw. The town's counting on you, son. What with businesses closing up, low voter morale. Oh. Yeah, I'm wearing my my famous sweater today. We're getting into sweater weather. Haven't you been the mayor for like twelve years? A series of unexplainable events that have no basis in fact whatsoever. <laughs> you can put them right out of your head. Unexplainable events? I shouldn't speak about it over the phone. They're listening. All I'm saying is this. Your show's important, Vendetti. There's a lot of folks out there counting on you. Wow. Yeah, well, way to put pressure on him. Mr. Krabs is on the phone. <laughs> yes. Yes. How did I not see that? Don't cock it up. That's definitely him. Me money! Her. <laughs> Can we go over here and have a look at the view? You got, you got two ladies making out? Hell yeah! Let's not bother them. Don't be a creep. Up we go. This is a cool little town. Starting here. A faint music. So I think on the choices you pick will actually affect some of the, uh, the art and that, which is cool. There's, there's boss fights and everything in this. Trust me. It's a really ingenious little idea. Through the Looking Glass. Awesome name. Uh, I wonder, it would have been probably better as like a uh, a bookshop in my opinion, but they've turned it into like optricians. That's cool though. Nice little nod to, uh, uh, what is it? Lewis, Lewis Carroll, Alice in Wonderland. Countdown. Hey, Lucy. She seems a bit stiff. Uh, I'm supposed to tell everyone we got Johnson Vendetti's 20th anniversary release of Pines in stock. This reminds me of like when small towns, uh, somebody makes it out and becomes like a celebrity, you know, right? <clears throat> Happens a lot here in Ireland as well. So the town immediately turns itself into a giant shrine of this person. When once probably they spat on them, you know, that kind of way. And this seems to be what what's happening here. It's always, it's, I've society is a strange years. beast for sure. The folk masterpiece. The voice of an American generation, or whatever. Definitely a nod to Bob Dylan. Copy soul. Okay. She seems yeah. really excited. Mm -hmm. Lucy. Duke Nukem. Oh, man, I miss Duke Nukem so much. They gotta bring it back. Like, Doom's kicking ass, Wolfenstein's doing its thing. Oh, yeah. sure. Bring Duke Nukem back in a good way. Legendary Stardust Cowboy. Oh, Hank Williams pretended to be a character called Loop the Drifter. Hank Williams, really? Why would he do that? 
Just say stuff he couldn't say as Hank Williams. It's true. That's true. A pseudonym. Very good. Very good. Now he's... Oh, he's getting another epiphany. Now he can change his name, you see? He's thinking about changing his name. Whoa. So he can get out of the shadow of the Vendettis. You okay? Yeah. I keep... He's having so many epiphanies in his pants. Thanks, Lucy. You coming to the show? You ever heard of a place called Lightman's? You ever heard of a place called Lightman's? A place called Lightman's? Mm, no. You want me to check out back? Nah, got a feeling you won't find it. It's mysterious Lightman's. You coming to the show? You coming to the show? Come on. We'll go to the show. Everybody it's is. not going to the after party. Oh. You don't like the Skiffle Band? They're like Jimmy Page. Started in Skiffle. <laughs> Was that meant to be a UK accent? Yeah. Sheesh. Everyone loves Jimmy for his Skiffle. Exactly. All right, let's head on on the highway. He would get he would get cancelled before the first trailer, for sure. You're so right. But that's not what we need right now. There are a couple of outcriers out there that don't care. They don't care about that kind of stuff. They still live their lives even at the risk of Minecrafters cancelling them or something. My place, childhood home of Jason wow. Vendetti. Do you still live here? It's a shrine. It is a shrine. And a tomb. Oh, and a tomb, creepy. So reminds me of like Graceland or something. I think they're trying to do that with um, Neverland. Michael Jackson's Neverland. Less said about that place, the better. Honey, how was your day? Was everyone excited to see you before the show? He's, he's in a living tomb. From Johnson Vendetti. Uh, yeah. Shut mom. Really? It's your boy Ashman Gold. <laughs> you know, old school TV. So this game is set in 1972. Just in case you're like... The hell is this time warp of a, of a house? It's 1972, so yeah, very, very psychedelic, baby, yeah! Uh -huh. <laughs> Horrible impression. Don't seem yourself. Has anyone seen the video going around Twitter? Uh, this guy has got Mass Effect and superimposed, edited incredibly well, and put Austin Powers in Mass Effect. Amazing, amazing video. Ding, da, da, da. So it does a bit like where Liara opens, it's like, can I help you, Commander? <laughs> And then Austin Powers comes in and goes, Shall we shag now or shall we shag later? And I just died. I died. It was so good. Don't seem I never knew I needed Austin Powers in space so much. Until I saw that. He's slowly changing. I've decided to create the most elaborate stage persona the world has ever seen. Yeah! Okay. He's going boy on us, right? Ziggy Stardust phase. Will you be down for dinner? We're having enchiladas. The boy you loved may already be gone. <laughs> All right. Careful now. Build it up too much. Just look at the shine. The, like the varnish on the polish of the piano. I love that. It's all about the little touches. That TV is awesome. Everything in this room probably nowadays would be worth like hundreds of dollars. Because you just bring all this stuff back. It's vintage now, you know. Put like $600 price tag on it. That's my dad and my uncle. They were really close, Mom says, from the beginning until the end. No one asks me about my dad much. No, because he's not the famous one, right? Sucks. Cool. I gotta go, Popo. Who the hell flushes the toilet like that? Who does that? Unless it's a push. When I flush the toilet, I'm about to, like, reef the cistern out. <laughs> Be gone, foul demon! <laughs> this is room sick. It's got the lava lamp. It wouldn't be the seventies without. We've got some rockets, amps, posters. Yeah, yeah. So you can see already the explosion of colors. I love it. Two thousand one, a space odyssey. Cool. Maybe a little Star Wars in inspiration too. What's this? It's getting late. I should put a record on and chill out. Let me take one more look around. All right, just very quickly. Just look at his desk. Could I step on stage? Star Can Scanner! Opera de Luci Valiente. Oh, very good. Evil. So he's got like a little bit of, yeah, a little bit of opera inspiration. Very sci-fi everywhere. And obviously like the psychedelic nature of the 60s and the 70s. So that's what we're going to get. We're going to get like psychedelic sci-fi. And I, I'm down for this. What is someone else entirely? Anything over here? Little figurines or something? People <clears throat> Cool. Got a little keytar. The radio intercept intergalactic transmissions. Dude, that poster of the astronaut. 
That is sick. I would actually have that right now. It's not. It's almost a little tie fight. Or, or, or what's it called? A tie dye. There we go. I was going tie tie dye, but it's sci-fi. Tie fight. That sounds awesome. Tie fighter. All right. Put a record on. Chill out, dude. Mellow out, man. So I turned into Kratos and flushing. <laughs> yeah, I did. The God of Flush. <laughs> I love it. Here we go. We mankind are just 62 wow. miles away from the infinite. On the far side of a thin film of atmosphere lies a tundra beyond the limits of human comprehension. The universe Sick. in all its grandeur. Floyd Rose. Its wonder and desolation waits mere miles away. The stairway to the great cosmic symphony is at our feet. So it begins! Ooh. Elf puppy. You're not in Cam Kansas anymore now, Alice. No, oh dear. Yeah, Bioshock vibes. My god, if we don't hear about the new Bioshock next year, I'm gonna go mad. Tie dye refers to sure. Yeah, it's it's the well it can be anything, right? If if it, it can be anything. It's the type of what the fuck is that joke? Ew, big flyers ew. But yeah, it's the, it's the type of design. It's basically kind of got like a a kaleidoscope of colour in like ink blot form, basically, if you wanna call it like that. But it's it's very back in again. That was nasty. People do their own tie-dye stuff now. Or they'll just like throw an all hoodie in and put bleach over it in ripples. Only bad news Dude's wearing a goddamn onesie. Is it all a dream? Probably. It always is. Elton John? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, hello? Greetings. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. You can see it right there. It's definitely some intergalactic nasty. What the hell is that? Brain in the jar. It's Futurama. What in the... Good evening, little bee. A pleasant climate here, don't you think? Mild. Fragrant, almost. Stop moving your many legs, please. What? Blah. What are you wearing? I am looking for Francis Vendetti. Uh-oh. That's you. You found him wary. You found him defensive. You found him impressed. Let's do this one. You found him... He soiled his I jumpsuit. I am the hypnagogic Zom. Hypnagogic? I appear tonight as a herald of doom. And calamity. That's always nice. You never get heralds of joy and financial gain. It's always doom and calamity. Why? The support act on our tour is indisposed. <laughs> A replacement is needed. All right. Intergalactic and tour. asked for you by name. Captain? What captain? He calls himself Lightman. Lightman! Wait, Lightman? You're from Lightman's? So it's not like a club or something. It's a person. Where is it? It's supposed to be in Calypso. But I've lived here my whole life. There is no such place. Stand extremely still. Uh-oh. You're about to be beamed up, Scotty. What? What? No! Please keep your elbows inside the vehicle at all time. Ow! Nice, very Tron, very Tron inspired. I like How did it. You do that? Can I get one, please? Uh, uh, anything? No? Bird shit? Okay. <laughs> we're not. They're not a financial advice givers. Ah, oh, we'll have to leave that to the um, struggling, failed old actors who come on our screen for whatever reason. Where are my pajamas? Nothing like Owen Wilson trying to sell you a couch. Thanks, Owen Wilson. Does it adhere to your hideous humanoid arrangement? Wow. I'm in love with it. 
Why are you giving this to me? So I think you'd have a different costume if you picked a different book. You see? Some kind of alien disco. Some kind of theater restaurant. Or exclusive club. Let's go alien disco. Is Lightman some kind of alien disco? Hold out your hand. We're about to get a yes. gift from the gods. Musical gods! Yes. Shred, baby, shred like you've never shred before. Damn. If only putting up Christmas lights was that easy. Look hella cool, not gonna lie. Well, finding good places to sell them is a nightmare. You're better off making your own lacuna, honest to God. Especially if you've got, like, some of your favorite shirts. You can turn them into tie-dye godly... I'm telling you, so simple. How did... Look it up did online. Do Everybody's that? doing it. Was that me? You're tuning into another dimension. Ooh, Don't stop a musical now. dimension. Lightman is waiting on the other side. You gotta bridge the gap. Hey, with some wait, sick licks. How did you organize this? Bye, Felicia. Cool. Oh, dude. The book represents him and kind of fitting because of the books were about some... Yeah, yeah. No. All right, where should we go from here? You think you want me to stay here, though? I can do it while I move, yes! Not while you jump, though. Let's light up this whole town. Wake up, everyone! The final countdown. That's awesome! Look! Oh, that's awesome. The vinyl countdown. Nice. Even the funicular. Oh, we gotta stop. No music allowed on the funicular. You can go funic yourself, that's what I think. No! Giggity. Oh, fireworks! People are already setting off fireworks. Oh, they've been doing it since September here. Can't help us. I don't know what it is about the, the, the pink windows. Make me think of Amsterdam. Beautiful. Reality, he's just running naked trees. Yeah, you know it. Sleepwalking. Buck naked and fancy free. <laughs> the way God intended. And Oprah. La -da -dee. Next stop, jail. <laughs> You're coming with me, son. No indecent exposure on my watch. We're going streaking! <laughs> Dude, the audio quality is amazing. He's on his way. Yes, my mind's been blown. Gotta pick up little pieces of my brain all over the place. Ooh, a penny. Oh, this must be Lightman. Six socks, dude. Yeah, very Bill and Ted for sure. That's how you make an entrance, baby. <laughs> tell me. Don't let no one tell you otherwise. This him? I'm afraid so. Uh, how, how? How did you? He's so hello. How's it going, man? Did you see Echo Generation? I did, dude. I played the demo. I can't wait. I, I'm gonna definitely play it. It's such a great, fun game. It's all got like voxel style. Turn-based combat. Lots of little spookiness in it as well. So if you're thinking of playing a key saw, I hope you do, man. Enjoy it. It's going to be one of the good ones. I'm playing this one. I think, did you get to play this one? The Art Full Escape? Still waiting for the last night to come out. But my god, Game Pass is amazing. Especially for streamers. Holy. It's like walking into a shop, right? 
It's like pick a mix candy store, but you have like a hundred dollars on you and you can get whatever you want. Whatever you want. You heard right? I'm excited. Oh hell yes. Ah, dance out toward oblivion and meet her like an old friend. What is that Dave Fenoy? Lightning? Jammer of the Glamorgon himself. Jammer of the Glamorgon. Now we ain't got much time. I'm about to star in a performance of Colossal Scope, and I don't go on without a support act. Never, ever. This is like Doctor Who. Tonight's opening slot has become available. Wait, you want me? I'm supposed to be a serious folk musician. <laughs> oh, baby, we'll have you back in time for breakfast. What? Uh, no, I've got my first show tomorrow. I'm in the midst of an existential crisis. <laughs> I can't just go right we all? into the night. Night? Baby, we're going way past the night. We're going on a ride across the dilated pupils of the cosmos. Oh, the writing is so good. Man, you're going to see Flotsam that'll change you forever. Flotsam and Jetsam. Stalnip and I'm working on AI. How is that game? Is it like a visual novel? What, what's that one about? I did see it pop up. Let me give you the first lesson free. And Sable, mmm. Oh, and then this one. Oh, yeah, you haven't got to this one yet? You will love this one. It's There's so many games, it's hard to play them all, right? You'll get there. Hopefully you're feeling good today. This is the musical key. So, yeah, I think this is, now, this is, I think, where the guitar hero comes into play. Oh, my God. Light up the musical key. So there's boss fights and fights in this and everything. It's all done You're through music. Like Uh-oh. Now repeat after me. Simon says, huh? Oh, say can you rip? Wait, did he do another one? I think I started to worry there. We're jamming! Yes! Oh, now I'm in, I'm in, I'm in sync now. That was sick! notes but add your own timing your own rhythm hell yeah <laughs> I, he won't let me do my own he just says do your own timing God, this feels amazing. So good! A natural. And uh, I think depending on certain choices at the start, Kiso, I think you could actually have you'll have a different styled uh, playthrough than mine. What do you think, Zom? He'll be dead by dawn. Hell yeah. Excellent! You're high, baby. <laughs> this game is rad for sure. It's got rad written on him. Even the name of the studio is called Beethoven and Dinosaur. I love it. I love it. This was one that showed up at E3 uh, a couple of years in a row, and everyone was like, oh, when's it coming out? And it's finally here. There was another one as well called The Last Night, which was uh, more, it uh, had that kind of cool cyberpunk vibe. It was, like a, uh, it was like a 2D Blade Runner. I don't know whatever happened to that one. Sable is awesome as well. I, the only issue with Sable for me is I'm playing on an old Xbox One, and Sable was not having it. Uh -uh, I did not like it at all. So, I mean, the game does have an unusual frame rate because of the character animations, but no, the game was not having it. I did. I tried all those demos, though, so let's come. Cool. It is a visual novel. Okay, you're a psychic detective that is trying to solve serial murders, multiple endings, and a nutso story. It's really... Okay, cool. I always kind of... it's uh, Visual novels have always kind of been a hard sell, 
to me for streaming just because I'm like, oh, if everybody's not getting into it, we're kind of stuck, you know? That's why I usually, you'll see me, I usually pick stuff with combat in some capacity. But it's not all about that either, you know? So I, I would love, uh, I'd love to try it out. There it is, Lightman's the Cosmic Extraordinary. This isn't here. This isn't a thing. It, this is an empty warehouse. Young blood, the stuff behind this door is gonna blow your mind. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, the way I was describing this one, it's like Bill and Ted mixed with Guitar Hero. That was the that was the way I was putting it. I doubt it'll be as hard as like an extreme song on Guitar Hero or anything, but you can see where the kind of musical combat comes into it, right? Really interesting. So I appreciate that. Oh, I, I said it has. It reminded me a little bit of Oxen Free as well. I can't wait for Oxen Free Two to come up. See, I'll just keep throwing games at things until something fits right. But uh, that's not the way to do it either. It's its own thing. packages. What is this place? Like a travel agent? It's a cosmic mailroom. The cosmic extraordinary? And why do I feel like extraordinaire would work better there? But that I think extraordinaire usually means a person. I have never heard of any of these places. See extraordinary. Depart never. Danger level four. <laughs> Heliotrons. Yeah, so he's been throwing out a lot of weird names, but we're talking, we're going on this, like, interdimensional, intergalactic adventure, you know? So you're gonna get weird names. This is the departure lounge. We've already got a crazy alien there, for God's sake. Francis, one look like Venetia. You need to be cleared with legal, obviously. Obviously. Yeah, imagery, oh, no. the same narrative, no. licensing, the insurance, posthumous royalties, and spectronic signature. You have all spectronic signature. No, uh oh. Are we making a deal with the devil? Oh god. Should try and probably read the fine print there. You get all that? <laughs> some of it, some of it, right? Not one bit. I think the ants wrote that one. Voice <laughs> signature accepted. <laughs> Onward! Oh, well, there you go. Let's hope that doesn't come to bite you in the ass. You know it will. You know it will. Never heard it till now. I don't really keep up. No, you're. it's all good. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I was looking at it on Steam. Over a thousand games nearly release every single day. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Of course, like, a nice big portion of them are, you know, pretty. You know, not not great, let's be honest. You know, there's a lot of rip-offs. Nowadays, it's all Squid Game and Among Us rip-offs. But uh, if you fight through and you look through the cracks, you're gonna find some beautiful gems of games. That's why Game Pass has been very impressive, you know? They're kind of, uh, you know, it's up to what, what developer wants to join, but it's sort of cultivating its its own little thing there, and it's great. Really great games out there. There really is, there really is. Just sticking to one genre, or just, tri what you know, what people think are AAA games. Uh, you're really missing out that way, honestly, God. I've just been playing Kena as well, and wow. Well, wow. indie games have always struck a chord with me. Um, you know, what, what I started with indie games, it was like Limbo and Bastion and Braid on, on the Xbox 360. Those were the early days of, of indie games for me. That's how I got into it. And Xbox really pushed for indies at that point. And there were That's crazy it. experiences. Really, really fun. The Xbox Live Arcade. Oh no, not the red lights. Oh god. Whoa! Don't worry. I didn't soil myself. You you soiled myself. Are we gonna French kiss death? Wow. Not one day, unfortunately. <laughs> one day, damn. See everyone thinks like the touch of death, if death touches you that no. It's gotta French kiss you. You ever been French kissed by a skeleton? Good god! It's time for Francis to rediscover the very meaning of existence. Oh man, that's the great matter between the lobes of the universe. The outside of reality. Often described as the in between bits. Can't be serious. The team a team restaurant. I suddenly feel quite uncomfortable. <laughs> I suddenly feel quite uncomfortable. That's because you soiled yourself earlier, remember? Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> 
I like games that push the envelope. Yeah, that's a great way of looking at it, for sure. That's not afraid to go out there and tell their story, no matter how much it doesn't fit in this narrative or that narrative, right? What does it look like? The cosmic extraordinary. Oh, baby, it looks different to everyone. To me, it's a goal. See, this is what I was saying, so depending on what we picked at the start of the game there, it's going to change how the you, whole game looks. Who knows? Time to begin our cosmic journey. Hold on to your lug nuts! Mummy. Yeah, you're dead right, Lacuna. Very good game. Yeah, exactly. That's the sad part. So yeah, Aaron, skeletons have tongues. <laughs> they do. Black as night. Oh my god, look at this. Whoa. I've heard of a stairway to heaven, but damn. Yeah, definitely Matrix time for sure. Straight into gameplay. I love it. Uh, welcome to the in between. Impossible. <laughs> There's a lot of that out here, my man. Wait, where are you going? Lightman is so cool. I need these socks like now. You're on your own, kid. Everyone takes their own road across the cosmic extraordinary. I love them. And we're gonna make our own road. You're looking for the lung! The cosmic lung! What's that? It's home, baby! <laughs> it's home! Off they go. That's why the road is unfinished. We've gotta pave the way with our own expressions. Ow! Let's go! God, this is awesome. Oh, what is that? I don't know if I want to know. She has some light platforming, but mainly is just an incredible musical menagerie. Dude, do you know how awesome it feels to slide down? Absolutely shredding. Just teaching us the basics of platforming. And as, like I said, there will be boss fights. Oh yes. The things I've seen, you have no idea. Melt your eyeballs inside out. Should I extend your jump? Nice. Why does that look like a giant drawbreaker in the back? You just want to lick it. Oh, these are some of the things that were in his room. The robot! Am I gonna land here? Oh, Jesus. This guy is tripping mad balls right now. <laughs> Wait, if you're already high, right? Oh my god, I can only imagine. It would probably be completely normal. <laughs> it would have the opposite effect. This is quite a dull, mundane game. <laughs> the acid's kicking in. <laughs> the mushrooms are turning. <laughs> Yeah, welcome back, DVG! Just in time! Just in time! We're about to blow your mind! Woo! Man, I, there looks so much like Tron, that's sick. This is so cool! I love how they've, they've actually created the game around the music. Oh, I'm not ready to go, that was fun. Biggest smile on my face right there. Woo! Dark, empty space of the universe. Whoa! Our first battle, it's a giant vegetable woman head. Well, if it isn't a fluffy little piece of space dust. That's me! Thank you. You've got a strange sound to you. Mm-hmm. Whoa. I'm a wonder. Make no mistake. Are you God? Darling, you are divine. I am not. You know, I did see her once, from a distance. What was it like? Her hair is sick. 
She was playing pinball. Of course. Of course, God is a woman. I mean, if Ariana grabs it, it must be say so. No way. Way. Oh, way, sucks. dude. I like her voice. Me too. We're going to have to fight her, though. If you couldn't tell by those eyes. It's very familiar from what we just learned. You playing the music? Yes, that's me. That's me playing the music. I could have stopped the shredding at any time. You hold X to do it. So it was kind of like, hold X and jump while you're doing it to keep that awesome shredding going on. I have to. I can yeah, like the rainbow road. Exactly. The only reason we created the universe. Oh, I don't like that. Uh-oh. The demonic voice is slipping in. What do you call yourself? Out here? I'm not sure. He's trying to reinvent everything about himself. Right now he needs a new name. I'm dabbling with the idea of becoming someone else entirely. My name... What can we call him? George Jetson? <laughs> you know, so yeah, exactly. That's I think most of the bosses are going to have that kind of idea. You know, and, and what's funny is they've left out the A, the a button. I was going to say X button. The jump button. So that makes me think that we're still going to have this kind of a Simon Says Guitar Hero kind of vibe going on. While having to maybe jump as well. We'll see. I already messed it up the first time. It's complicated. It haunts me. Something I don't want to take with me. Mmm. 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 It haunts me. In this place, you are the namer of names. She's got like vegetables on her and oh my god. Hey, hey. But choose wisely. What are we actually gonna get a pick a, a name? Names can get carried away. What? Names can but get worn out as well. <laughs> Don't wear it out. They wander off. Begin to breathe. Before you know it, they're on books and Begin banners. Scrawling themselves over manifestos. A name, once weightless, suddenly burdened with the weight of empires. What will you name yourself? <gasps> oh, look at this. Type your name? Oh my god. Uh, I have no idea. I haven't even been thinking. Oh dear. Oh dear. What's this? What does this mean? I am the almighty. What does that mean? I don't like the sound of that. Can I? Oh, can, maybe I can change. Damn, we're going to have to think of some names here. Maybe I can change what these words mean. Type your name. No. I wonder why this is highlighted. Oh, here we go. Courageous. The courageous, the terrible, the villainous. Oh, the powerful, the comical, the wondrous. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I don't think they're vegetables. They're trees, right? And multiple hands. It's like a fish tail. And oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The delusional, excited, petite, <laughs> clever, friendly, cruel, elegant, intelligent, whimsical. Troubled, cheeky, exceptional, delightful, exquisite, boring, Jesus, the adventurous, the dynamite. There's so many. The ethereal. The maniacal. Let's see. I am the laser brain. <laughs> and naughty is the last one. Oh! Will we say will we just say Cyber Houdini? Let's do it. You know what? Cyber Houdini, it's one of those names when I when I finally like thought of it, um, I'm like, holy shit, no one has ever had this name before. It's kinda cool. It mixes everything together. I like it. I've always liked it. The Naughty! <laughs> yep, that's me! That's me. That'll do that'll do pig. And where are you headed? Oh The cosmic one. Really? You're touring with light? Mm -hmm. Well, if you say so. Uh oh, is he an enemy? Whoa! I hope she's friendly. I don't think so. We think of Sai, we think of Petite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. I see. You know, they they gotta throw an up in there from for everybody. You know. Oh crap! Here we go. Oh dear. We just dropped acid. Sweet Jesus Christ. I like when they just shower you with images like that. God help people with epilepsy. <laughs> uh, Dune releases. Yeah, cool. Are you going to go see anything this weekend? Wow. 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 Welcome. 
cosmic long. That don't look like a long, that looks like something else. <laughs> don't put your finger in it. Zom, what happened? Where am I? You're aboard the Cosmic Lung. Of course it's a spaceship, because why not? Our vessel across the extraordinary. W what does that mean? Francis, does your species gather in caravans of aimless cacophonous debauchery? Debauchery! You mean like a musical? Yeah, a music festival, sure. Yep. Rootin' tootin' convoy! You mean like a music festival? <laughs> That sounds familiar. Why don't you have an explore, hmm? Feel things out. May I offer some advice, human? Okay. Don't lose your head. Why do I feel like that's an option? I'll keep that in mind. Uh-oh. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, we can't shred here. Let's see where, where he went. Oh my god. All right, remember, keep an open mind. These are intergalactic and interdimensional beings. Please. This is so far out. Definitely. What's up there, lad? <laughs> I was not expecting that voice. What's up there, lad? He sounds Irish. I'm just trying to keep my head. Ah, oh, a sensible thing, too. Rather important, one said. <laughs> you know what he kind of looks like? You know when you, like, pour all your paint down the sink? That's kind of like what it looks like. This guy over here looks like the caterpillar from uh, Bugs Life. Hi, <coughs> chandeliers. I think somebody watched The Fifth Element while they were doing acid, I swear to God. No way. There's a whole damn theater in here. Yes, for an intergalactic opera. What are these little, little sheep things following me, huh? Are we going to be playing there? Oh, hello. Where to? Oh, can you teleport me around the lung? Whoa, the mezzanine. That's Violetta's workshop and bar. Nice. The Cosmic Lung. That's awesome. Be cool, like card. Main theater. That's where we are. It's Travel Gate and Disco. And the lower decks. Captain's Quarters and the Accommodation. I don't need to go anywhere yet. I'm guessing this is the Disco. Oh, Lightman Show starting soon. That's what I came for. No, he did say that he wants you to be... Just back up. Can I get a drink, please? Maybe I shouldn't get a drink. We can dance. Oh, oh dear. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. They do feel like puppets. It's funny. How long till I want a fucking alien? Wow. That was about five minutes ago, my friend. And we met the first alien. <laughs> oot, oot, oot. All right, let's get out of here. Dance complete. He's got to work on his moves for sure. Kind of looks like one of those bloodhound dogs. They're like, they go, they're pointing the way. They go all stiff. All right, where to next? I like the idea of Violetta's bar. Anywhere else we can go over here? Do, 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 do. That looks very saucy. Looks like a big old sussy pussy. It's like some far out Hendrix album cover. Right? I don't think Hendrix died. I think he just went to the next dimension. Jimi Hendrix himself could be Lightman. We don't know. Yeah, I think we have to fast travel. See, that's the kind of show on a little bit of the limitation, but also the clever ideas behind, uh, you know, when you make a kind of a 2D, 3D game, you're always going to be stuck on the same axis, moving left or right. But, you know, what they did with the elevators and the viniculars, and now this, uh, you can really kind of... Oh, wow, it's also... See, I think you're right, Lacuna. I think he's just running around the town naked, right? See, there's the funicular back, see? Clever. Oh, this is very psychedelic. I can't believe they let us backstage. I know. That's cool. Cooler than usual. Wow, groovy dude. Who's got the hookah, man? So pretty. There she is. And Lightman as well. 
he's never played a show. Uh-oh. She doubts. He's never even left Colorado. You're gonna fry his brain. Oh, I think there's a little magic in him. There has to be. He thought he was a folk musician this afternoon. Trump? Where are you sending him? From the Heliotrons. Uh-oh. Oh, of course the Heliotrons. You are pathetic. Sorry, what's the Heliotrons? Ah, Francis! I knew you'd probably make it. The Heliotrons, well, it's somewhat of a monument to me. Paid for by you. The whimsical beginnings of my 51 Universal Tour. The tour where I would successfully jam with the Glamourcon. He paid for it and made his own monument? Okay. Wow. What, what's a Glamourcon? This is bogus. Mark, seriously, he's gonna get vaporized. His name is Mark? Oh, I think I like Lightman better. Mark Lightman. My name is Lightman. We calibrate holograms for the kid. This is on yeah, you. The whole game is actually about the sad metal psycho mental psychosis of this little... F oh. That's an interesting way of looking at it, for sure. Metal psychosis. <laughs> murders my vibe. Now, curtains are approaching. Any questions? What's the Heliotrons a venue? Nope. Just gonna waltz blindly into the unknown. What kind of show is this? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I'm just gonna waltz blindly into the unknown. That's me. Visit Violetta. She'll get you tuned in. That's me walking blindly Wait, into the unknown. Is there anything else I should? I... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, now you ask, huh? Now you ask. Whoa. Dude, why do I feel like you just oh, ride on these clouds? I believe this. I mean, technically, there wouldn't even be clouds, right? We're in frickin' space! It's more like gaseous substance. Not alien farts. I know you were thinking it, because I was too. Giggity! Go find Violetta. See, look, you go from all that craziness to this to just looks like a standard hotel. Can I check your coat? I don't got a coat. We're a professional, exceptionally discreet service. A discreet service? And you got a wee Scottish accent, eh? You honestly look like you're selling the coats. D don't say that. True. I'm afraid we're closed. <laughs> busted. Busted. Can I have my coat back, please? It's chilly out there in the cosmos. Every time I fall asleep, I wake up on the outside of my room. That's strange. It's like someone's kicking you out. Now you decided to do a little jig outside. Okay. Um, what the hell's going on down there? I can't go any further this way. That was funny. Just a random Scottish accent on an alien. Kind of reminds me of uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Did you guys ever watch that? Where to? So good. All right. Well, you can see where they are. This is where my little head's there. So we're there. And Violetta's right there. Boom. Simple Simon Trash. It runs on alien farts. Nice. It's about time. That is the future. It is the future. We need to figure out a way to convert methane into actual um, a fuel. We do, because the farts, they fart for three stomachs. And we all know we're farters. What the hell is this? Ah, yes. Now you know where all those buggers go. Like, they're real living sentient beings in the cosmos. Gross! I thought that was stained glass for a second. It's pretty. What can I get you? Wait. How old are you? 45 years old. 17 years old? 24? I exist outside the realm of age. I exist outside the realm of age. He's definitely doing a lot of the old finger guns. Not here, you don't. Uh oh. You, you want to be careful. The finger guns, you know. One more and he'll turn into Tobey Maguire in Spider Man 3. You gotta be careful. Look, if it's glam glam juice you want, try downstairs. I don't really cater to kids. Aw, oh, you messed it up, dude. It was the finger guns. She knew you were like 13 years old. <laughs> Tom, this is so gonzo. You're like an intelligence from another world. I can only surmise you're enraptured with a sense of wonderment, majesty. It's weird because it's, it's the little brain, it kind of looks like hands on it. It's freaking me out. I guess so. What do you do here? You work on the lawn? I am Lightman's first mate. I see to his affairs, anticipate me. I want to know how Lightman get up here. Cool. What impossible things have you acquired? 
Did you walk through the Austrian Opera House? True. Wait, it's actually from Austria? I you stole it! <laughs> you stole a whole Opera House! Oh my god. Huh? <laughs> they're just, the they're just saying is. what I'm saying. There's so many in Vienna, it's wow. easy to dash away with one. Now, now we know why the hotel and the opera house kind of look like uh, we're from Earth. Because they literally were. Place. He left a paper mache wrapper. What if it rains? What if it rains in Vienna? That whole opera house is just going to fall apart. All right. Who needs to ask those questions, right? Wow, I would say it kind of do be looking like a disco ball. Every time I try and chase these little furry guys, they outrun me. Get back here! And now they're gone. People poof on that one. Oh. Wow. This really does remind me of a Vienna opera house. As if. Aha. We made it to the end of the room. My guitar. What the hell's it doing here? It needs to be in my hand. Hey, there she is. This is your place, huh? Cool. Looks like what the inside of an arcade looks like. Like, I mean, arcade machine. More alien farts. See, if all farts look like this, you know, we know they're invisible. They have special, you have to wear special uh, rose tinted glasses to see your farts. So they're invisible. But if all farts look like this, I think the world would be a better place. No one would ever see where they're going now because, let's be honest, we've covered this whole planet in farts. Hey, no. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he sounds like that dude from Star Wars. Nubian! No attention to me. I can never think of his of his name. Violetta, Wasa or something. Was it Wasa? Out of this. Anakin! Have you ever seen fart? Fart bending clip? No! Is that like air bending? Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Send me a clip of that. He stole it. Yeah. Fart bending. The last fart bender. <laughs> Come me up! Oh, how could you do this? Look at me while I work. Huh? Ah, you're nothing but a weakling. You must channel the inner side of your colon. If you're not welcome, yeah, welcome for the knowledge. Yeah, there's no taking it back, then. Oh. I'll always remember this day, Lacuna. Right? Everything before this day was not known about fart bending, and everything after is the age of fart bending. Yes. <laughs> Instead of like AD, it's gonna be like F. B. <laughs> Did you hear Facebook's gonna change its name? They can't get away from all the lawsuits and, you know, leaking like 500 million people's personal details. Ding! So they're changing the name. Apparently they're gonna call it Horizon. Oh, I don't know. I, I Every time I see news about Facebook come up, they have to use this stupid picture of Mark Zuckerberg. And I know it's just his face, right? I got one too, I get it. But he has one of the most punchable faces in, in the world. It's like a gift. He should stop like being a CEO and just go on tour and let people actually punch him square in the fucking face. I would pay. I would looking. pay a premium dollar for that. Premium Bitcoin. What were you thinking? Coming out here? But then you you know, then his like lizard face mask would slip off. Yeah, he is a lizard, yeah, it is true. It's true. I wanna be careful. Because they could just knock this on your is door. Your fault. Ah, who am I kidding? They'll slide underneath it. Because they're made out of rubber. I had no idea what I was signing up for. So I think you'd even have a different outfit I if you picked a different book at the show. start. White men did. The psychedelic and one. Only because there's crazy. no one left. It's like a, a Shakespeare if he took acid. You can't unhide that. Yeah, it's true. Uncanniness is right. Back to Calypso. No, there's no going back. Show? Oh crap! I forgot about the show. Listen, Francis. This place, the lung. We put on three shows every tour. That's the contract. No shows, no contract, and no clearance to the next station. You don't play, you don't get home. Wow, he's really roped into this, huh? I'm gonna hurl. Really connected successfully. Oh, thank you. It's GLaDOS. We're done. Anything else? This was a mistake. What do you do here? Well, wish me luck. What do you do here? Might as well chatter up a bit, you know. We gotta break that hostile exterior of Violetta, because I know there's a warm gooeyness underneath somewhere. I hope. They can't know Please. otherwise. <laughs> know what? That I run this ship, and that I am, without question, the greatest laser artist in the galaxy. Hell yeah, Laser Floyd! That was your idea, right? Are you serious? 
That is so far out. As much as you might go like, oh man, them using all this old speech like rad and far out and gonzo. It might feel a bit cringy. It's it's set in 1972. Trust me, this was what how they spoke. What do you... Okay, I think... Yeah, I think we just well, gotta go. Wish me luck. Now I feel bad because they're obviously conversation choices. Even though I've been picking the funny ones for the shits and giggles, I'm actually probably missing out on some stuff. I'm sorry. Can I have my guitar back? Ask for a friend. Friend is me. Got a friend in me. Everybody's got a friend in me. Got a friend inside of myself. That's right. Hmm. That's how you set up some good stakes. Some, some st I could do with some stakes right now. Where to? Where to? Back to the main theater. We must speak to Lightman. I hope we get to see a show here. Okay, quickly now. This is the Grand Theater. Performances are broadcast to the stage here. I'm gonna be broadcast to all these people. Not just all these people, dude. All the worlds and all the dimensions. Heavens no, this is my stage. They'll play your pish posh in the disco. <laughs> pish posh. But, but no one in Calypso can see the broadcast. Right? They couldn't accidentally tune in? How would I know? Come on, man, follow He's me. He's afraid of exposure? It's not what you're after? Dude. Some someone's fucking up your glasses, I think. Do, 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 do. Were we in here before? Now this isn't a traditional performance. That looks so sus. See, there's no stage. Dirty mind. Well, there is. The landscape is the stage. Okay. But there's also stages. You feel me? Not really. What should I play? I've got this folky ballad about the toil of a miner's life. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't do that. <laughs> Even these guys don't want it. You wear folk like a cheap suit, young blood. You're something else entirely. No time to gab. You're on. Oh, wow. So I'm guessing, like, the stage is like a stage in a level, you know? Exactly, Bernie. Bunker double. Uh, as a person who uses cringy 90 sounds like hella all the time, I like it. That's all good. Hella, Hella's come back in a big way. I guess it never left. It's always just be on the West Coast. No! My face is melting! Best loading screen ever? Yes, I do agree. <laughs> How would I know? I know. It's going to, Lightman is awesome. Games uh, like Life is Strange. Yeah, they did bring it back for sure. Or at least introduce it to mainstream or different countries. I agree. Wow. You see this new Monopoly game coming out. Monopoly Madness. It's like Monopoly Battle Royale or something. It actually looks kind of cool. It's going around. You can go around in a construction uh, like a JCB just tearing up people's hotels and stuff. They look like hands, and that looks like a face. Freaking my fair fair. Welcome to the desert of the real. Violetta? Yeah, you okay? You're suspended in air there. You made it. Violetta. I'm guessing this is the this laser is show she's talking about. Impossible. Where am I? You're in the far reaches of the cosmos now, kiddo. Jeez. And you want me to just dance out into it? That's right. Sparkle in your eye, candy in your heels. This is cool. What am I supposed to do? Everything we do is to make music. Into the foot what would be cool is, I don't know if, if they do it, but what would be cool is if at the end they kind of did like a replay of the music you played in the They're level or something. For a creature <clears throat> called Star Gordon. All right, Star Gordon. You find your way back to the lung. You'll need to book through his agent. His agent? It's on Holiday Street, I think. Is this gonna be dangerous? Oh yeah. I don't even come out here. Great. Metal. Metal as fuck, bruh. Let me ask you this. When you're shredding that sci-fi guitar nonsense, who are you? Nonsense? You better watch yourself. We are an emperor 
of dying stars, the captain of my soul, and, uh, the master of all destiny. I like this one. An emperor of dying stars. Something cool about that. Then that's who you must become. Stars that go supernova. Damn it. Let's start our journey. Do we have our guitar? I think we just summon it, literally. Ow! God damn it. I wish I could do that in real life. You just be getting off the toilet, reaching for some toilet paper, and all of a sudden... Wipe your ass! With a guitar string! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Holy! Impossible! The view! The shine on the snow. Me like it. Jeez, that was a big jump. So when you, if you bring out the guitar midair, you can extend your jump. Can I, uh, yeah, pull a star out and dance around planets just in the 90s, yeah. It was like 70s, 80s, and 90s. Like he, his, those cassettes are insane. And uh, he really brought back, that song, or that, um, that movie really brought back a lot of old songs. I was so glad they didn't rely on like the, the go-tos. Final Countdown and all this, or, or, or Journey Don't Stop Believing. It was just so overplayed. So I'm glad. They picked great music for that. I'm excited for the game. It's coming out on the 26th. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna play it with the uh, copyright on. I don't care. Come at me, DMCA. Come at me. God, if, if someone could manifest DMCA into a physical form, I would kick it square in the nuts. I really would. Every time. Alright, so we're gonna, this is our first little test. So we're gonna have to play a little little sham and chase. Alright. Damn! It's like the at the beginning of Back to the Future. Holy! I love that, like I, I really wanna know more about that the beginning of Back to the Future. Lightman presents an ode to Lightman, by Lightman, for Lightman, directed by Lightman, written by the one and only Lightman, also produced and funded by Lightman. <laughs> he's the uh, <laughs> he's the Kojima of the cosmos. <laughs> Whoa, feed his baby. In 1927, on the outer reaches of occupied space. A child was found adrift in a photon beam. The child. The child. That's kind of cool. His rescuers named him Lightman. Wow, he's literally born in the cosmos. By the time he was 12, many considered Lightman to be the greatest musician alive. I agree. Musical facts. Eating all them beans. Yoink. Yeah, right at the start of Back to the Future, like, Doc makes Marty this sick, like, Amp, but it's just been completely juiced. And I always wondered, like, he did something so nice. I always wonder what else they get up to. The Back to the Future cartoon was fun. Oh, this was like some kind of limbo trap. Don't kill me now! Ow! Oh, it's stage lights. That's so sick! This, is, we've this place turned into a tour. On this spot in 1952, Museum. Lightning began his legendary. Goldweaver tour. Nice. The tour would culminate with a performance unlike any other. Goldweaver. A duet with the glamour gone. I think we're gonna we're gonna end up doing something with this glamour gone. It is to be the greatest performance in the history of the universe. Of the universe. Jam with the environment. Yeah. Whoa, that's some kind of crazy crap. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to strike a nice balance. How much to, to uh, you know, have the guitar going. Maybe it might be a bit too loud or something. I don't know. Damn, this is beautiful. They're like little hermit crabs. 
I'm gonna wake up this whole planet. The Glamagon resides in the Hyperion Whale Zone. I'll have to remember that. All are welcome to enter the Whale Zone. But none can leave. But only those who entertain the Glamagon are permitted to leave. Jesus. For many, it is a one-way trip. Risking his life and that of his crew, Lightning arrived at the Whale Zone in August of 53. I'm actually uh, surprised they're using, like, our years and our kind of Earth years, you know? <laughs> Queen would be at home with this game. Little is known of the Glamagon's biology. That's what it looks like? Good God, it's like a giant it's organ. It's a vision so brilliant that many creatures remain transfixed. A, a physical organ. And watch it until they perish. Understandably, Glamagons are very hard to impress. There's multiple Glamagons? We're gonna have to impress it. Sick. Yes. Rise up! It's the one and only Lightman. Rock on. Rock on, young bold soldiers. Man alone. The sliding feels so good. It's building up to a big crescendo. I can feel it. Good evening. Hello, Pyro. How's it going? You came. Perfect time. We're playing this absolutely insane game, The Artful Escape. It's like a psychedelic musical platformer. Their duet was heard across dimensions. And it's giving me heavy, like, Hitchhiker's uh, Guide to the Galaxy vibes. So we're traveling through the cosmos. Oh, wow, what a shot. What a, what a jump. Fallen in style. Falling witch dial. For once, I did too big a jump. Didn't even get sliding. Mind your sliding, they would say. So there is combat in it as well. It's all controlled, very uh, reminiscent of Guitar Hero. Like me right now, I'm doing all the shredding. <laughs> I'm waking up this whole planet. Very pretty. I'm gonna play some Back for Blood uh, a little after this. If anybody has that, you're welcome to play. It has crossplay. I'll be playing it on Game Pass. Ow! This is the Cosmic Lung. On his return, Lightman was granted command of the Cosmic Lung. The Lung is an entertainment vessel with a rich history, stepping stone for many legendary artists. That's one nasty looking lung. The same. What a jump! Ow! What are these things? Oh my goodness. Don't poop on me! And I won't poop on you. Oh, we got Aurora Borealis in, in the background. This is an acid trip for sure. And I love it. Uh oh. Something's broke with this one. Who knows what the future holds for Who knows what the future holds for Who knows what the future holds for Oh, this, is this one not working? We gotta get it working. Nope, they're sleeping with the fishes. We gotta go fix this thing, I think. Who knows what 
Everybody fix it. Who knows? Maybe the woman is just clear to jump off the edge. Some of it looks like comic books. It's kind of cool. Yep. All the animals, all the aliens, everything has its own beat and noise. Adding to our symphony. Holy! That's a big boy! It's a stampede! And we get to create the soundtrack for it. I love how the camera's zooming in. Wonder was there something you have to do there. And they're real up close. There's even a statue up on that peak up there. Holiday Street must be headed in the right direction. I remember her mentioning Hol Holiday Street. Grollum? Why does this get creepy all of a sudden? Dimly lit parking lot of a shady shopping mart. Grollum, talent, and flair. This must be the place. What was it, a talent agency or a rundown old bar? Yoo Lightman, Heliotrums, Glimmer Drum, Hyperion, Gold with Oh yeah, Go Weaver Tour. These are all the album covers. Atlas Maverick. Star Gordon Live. Hey Caddy. Hey there, friend. It's a big kitty. Do not touch me. Oh Jesus. I don't know if I'm more scared of the fact that it talks or that is a standoffish. Crap. I, I didn't know you could talk. <sighs> I resisted it as long as I could. <laughs> hmm. You have the bearing of a creature in the you know, it's like, can, can you pet the dog in these games? Well, you can't pet the cat in this game. Migration. You're creating an, an extinction level event on an alien planet. Oh, that'd be so funny. Yeah. It'd be interesting to look wow. at it like that. I guess I am. E, was it ELE or something? Like, it's a real thing, right? They have to, like, even as ridiculous as it sounds and, like, it sounds like a Hollywood movie or something, they are really, they're real, like, con, con, what is called it, like, uh, contingency plans centered around ELEs, extinction level events, like another ice age and, and aliens landing and all this stuff. For me, Life Strange 2 was my very first indie game. Now I have all the episodes. That was your first indie game ever? Really? No, I bet you you played other indie games. You just didn't know there were indie games. Does migration always go there and back? That was like last year or two years ago. Be my joke. Or can it be one way? Boom! Boom, boom, boom! Why? Oh, I can't leave. Planning a return trip? Not as myself, no. Listen, I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. Really? No, no, the finger guns. Better go straight through. Nice kitty. I'm gonna pet you. You can't stop me. Do not talk to me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Antisocial kitty. I love that it's still got the music. It's like, it's like a hotel music playing. Yeah, in this in in this game, cat bastard you. How's that noise? Hello. I don't want to be eaten by some nasty. This one of this is this is this the Star Gordon? Something's sleeping. Wakey wakey. Hello. Um. You want a jam? Hey, Beastie. The Beastie Boys. I'd like to uh, make an appointment. No, let's go. Want a jam? Uh, want a jam? Oh. Now is not the time, Violetta. Dreadful. Huh? What is? That was the entrance of a busker, not a crossfire hurricane. It's a damn monstrosity. Look at the size of it. Oh, that's mean. Ugh. An entrance? 
literal or metaphysical, cannot be undone, Francis. True. First impressions. Whoa! Dude, I gotta stop doing that, man. I got zoned in and I can, like, predict the dialogue. Personal project of mine. I'll let you take it for a test drive. Timing. lucky duck. So she's this, she says she's like the master of lasers. She's able to like teleport herself. What the hell is this? All right. This is how we're gonna make an entrance. Please hold your applause and your pause until the show's over. Wrong. So this one works a little bit better because of the colors. On the Xbox controllers. Oops, that was B, sorry. Sorry, bud. Oops, damn it, I'm, I'll get it, I'll get it. Bum, bum, bum. Ah, oh, it's like an orchestra. Yes! Couple of mistakes. You're quite loud for such an insane That was fun! Creature. In this house, we play all the indie games, right? Played. Wonder what? 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 It counts as a link. That's so weird. More into superhero action adventure, first person shooter games, beat em ups, hack and time. Yeah, beat em ups. All of those are in indie games. An indie game is not a genre. It just means that they don't have a publisher. That's what an indie game means. It's not. It's not really a genre. It means it's same as an indie musician or an indie movie. They just don't have a publisher. It means independent. Means you break away from like the big publisher, like uh, see, this is what happens to a lot of people. People literally think that EA makes FIFA or this, or you know, this kind of way where these where these uh, publishers make games when they don't, you know, they're studios that make them. Publishers are just a whole lot of guys in a boardroom in suits counting the money that they've done nothing to actually fucking make. They're they're unfortunately a, a very necessary evil, but hopefully, one day, indie stuff. Will just be a thing in the past where everybody will just be doing their own thing and they won't need publishers you know that's why xbox tried to push the whole games are games are games they didn't want to give them the label of indie but the way things go it's just the way it has to be you know until a uh, thing of publishing is a thing from the past people have tried to do self-publishing but it's not easy that's the problem you know there's just so much logistics attached to it that's the problem yeet hello fire lily how you doing are you doing? And earlier you said hump day and you thought it was when I know I did, I did. I'm telling you. It's tough. It's tough to remember the days of the week when you don't have your mommy wiping your ass. And waking you up every morning. Learn to how back. That was kinda cool. So everything's gonna be based around these kind of five buttons. How's Fire Lily doing today? No. I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Star Gordon. Gordon. Star Gordon. I wonder how he's talking. Is it like telepathy? Well, I need to get back to the cosmic lung. I can understand that. Mm, it sounds like Falcor. Is it worth the risk? What? What does that mean? Here and there, drama on one thing, school being the other. Always bloody drama. I'm sure he'll be happy. Could be worse. You could be a dream fan. Is what worth the risk? His den is on the other side of Disco Worm Ridge. Oh, it's gonna be a hell of a ride, human. I bet my hump on it. Oh, it's hump day for him. We're gonna have to jump on your hump. Hump, day hump. Good night now. Go back to sleep. You might look like a big bear, but you're not a big bear. This is so pretty. 
Give me winter vibes for sure. I love the winter. Wish we got snow like this. Places that can get snow but still maintain a very happy little temperature. Those are the best. Open says me. Sam, there's the Aurora Borealis. Let's go! I want to see the Aurora Borealis in person. That's a bucket list right there. There's that laser show. Bonk! Okay. It almost looks like a spaceship, huh? I think I gotta press everything. Nope. You gotta do action B. I like it. It's like a password. Holy! So cool! Neon for the win. That kind of looks like Seattle. Wonder is one gonna pick us up? Take us for a ride. Here we go. Beautiful. This game is really pretty. It is, it is. Something else. You're eating the weirdest meal? What have you got? Seven month old drama that should have been dead. Oh, I hate that. That sucks. I'm sorry you gotta go through that. These guys know their music. This is, this is beautiful. Looks like that kind of 3D LED art you can get. Very cool. Especially uh, that I like to call whatever I find in the cupboard. <laughs> Makes the weirdest combination. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Been there. That's what led to my magnificent mustard sandwiches. Star Gordon, the trip of a lifetime. Star Gordon. It does, it does. Also reminds me of Flash Gordon and Starfighter mixed together. Oh, space whales. Rice, kidney beans, kale. Okay, you had me until you got the kale. You son of a bitch. You could have left that out, you know? I know you put it in the meal, but you could have left it out. You know my beef with kale. You know this. You come here and you say that four-letter word, beginning with K, ending with E. Peas and avocado. That's, that's something else. Nice. Have you any kind of sauce for it at all? It's quite dry. We have any kind of sauce. Kidney beans rock. I mean, rice and kidney beans is just... Yeah, rice and beans, for sure. Even an old Uncle Ben's or something to throw on it. Rice and avocado on its own is a good combo. See, there you go, you see? Beans too, right? We're getting close to, like, a Puerto Rican dish at that point, would you? Oh, we should yummy, yummy food. This is cool. If someone got on neon paint and just splashed it. Wow! Yeah, so this is the Artful Escape. It's, a, it's an indie game that just came out. It's on the Game Pass. It's made by an awesome developer called Beethoven and Dinosaur. That's literally their name. So cool. And uh, yeah, it was at a couple of E3s. It's one of those indie games where everyone's like, wow! And they forgot when it was going to come out. But it is out now. And uh, totally, totally worth the play. It's, um, we play as this guy, in this Francis Vendetti. He's trying to rediscover himself. He's been living in the shadow of his very famous uncle for too long. He's trying to rediscover yourself. And how you pick uh, choices at the start of the game will actually change your outfit, change different parts of the game, which is really cool. Different style. 
So yeah, it's like a, a psychedelic musical overload. A symphony of the cosmos. Hello there. This looks like we made it to a Welcome bit of a Star museum or something. The trip of a lifetime. I'm gonna be thick. Keep your limbs inside the cart at all times. Don't you be looking at my limbs, missus. Just sing to power your journey. Cool. I won't be singing. Oh. Never suited me. Can I play a holographic guitar? There is games where you use your mic and you can sing and scream to, uh, well, shout, um, to make uh, you move and stuff like that. Some sort of chili sauce. Nice. Yeah, that's all it takes. It's all it takes. I bet it's nice, dude. The kale might wilt, though, but you never know. It might be nice. And the avocado. Did you end up uh, chopping it up, or, or how did that work? Nice. Avocados. Fucking awesome. You're welcome to try that sort of thing. Alright, let's give it a shot. It's like a space DeLorean. Oh. Feast your eye holes on this one. So me playing the guitar is powering the vehicle. If I stop, it'll probably stop the vehicle, will it? Maybe. No? Yeah, it does. It does! Or it was just perfectly timed for me to jump off. Don't tell anybody. I love that it just likes to shred indefinitely. Wow. The infinite. Jesus, with the, uh, the mirrored floor, it makes it look like it's a complete circle. This must be the Star Gordon. Time for a little boss fight. Been a very long time since a little fly buzzed. So far, the voice acting's actually been pretty. Yeah, Vaporware for sure. Hell yeah. Vaporware has made such a crazy comeback. It's insane. Now there's. Uh, wave and vaporware and everything. There's like <laughs> Simpsons. Uh, everything has its own version of wave now. It's crazy. I'm Have you seen the Simpsons wave? That's where I got my Bar Simpsons from. <laughs> oddly cool aesthetic. <laughs> well, this is Star Gordon's, isn't it? Isn't it? I think so. Mind you of that scene in Interstellar when he finally drops down into the event horizon of the black, uh, black hole and all the debris and everything starts coming. It's very strange, that part. I love it. You I love when movies try to explain the impossible, like that scene in Interstellar or the alien scene in Annihilation. Everybody should watch Annihilation. It's so cool. The last 20 minutes are something just... It really kind of scrapes the back of your brain of, of weirdness and impossibleness. I, I love that. I love that. I love the weirdness. Like, going back to like um, 2001 and Space Odyssey, the whole idea behind the obelisk and those scenes, those wide shots of, of the space and that. Oh, it's so cool. I love that. Really kind of, it kind of gives you kind of a chill in a good way, in a weird way. Yeah. I like that. I am the naughty... <laughs> the naughty cyber Houdini. I didn't make that up. I swear. <laughs> I'm trying to get back to the cosmic one. <laughs> ah, that's so. I love that that's going to keep coming up now. It's hilarious. But power off my phone. Oh, no. I always mash avocado a bit. With a bit of salt. Ah, clever. Yeah, salt's great. That'll bring, like, flavor out in everything that's the whole point of it right it's really good with uh, tomatoes as well and oddly i know this sounds weird but strawberries if you're like mashing up strawberries or doing something with strawberries besides just straight up eating them you sprinkle a little little bit of salt i'm not talking about like a fucking you know less than a pinch it'll actually just make them even more sweeter brings everything out you got the makings of a story you got my attention I nice 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 smell it sometimes i feel like it's already been written for me who I am, where I should be going. Ah, but where you're from, that's what interests me. Why don't we go on a trip together, hmm? Absolutely. You can tell me all about it. Yeah, cool. Where are we going? Oh, to the stars. To the stars. Tell me of your home planet. <laughs> Of Earth. 
in all its quaintness and beauty. The load screen is even a guitar strum, which I think is a nice touch. Here we go. That's his glasses. Cool. It looks like he's no pupils behind them. Playing Genshin? Nice. I, I am, I have not done any of Inazuma, so I can't do any of the new stuff. I'm sick. Oh, what's this now? I get to choose? Von Deladon. Choose your home planet. Renowned for fireworks, starships, and romantic novelettes. <laughs> Garmoth. A world of aluminium towers, aluminum towers, I don't know. Uh, colossal stadiums and crystal bridges, all ringing in the key of A. Interesting. Oh, I like this one. Candy Hammer. <laughs> Rotates on an axis equal to the mathematical formula for the perfect cream filled. I don't know what that one is. Is it Creme Boucher? No, what is that? Cre what is that? I don't know. Ramjet Rock. Home to the Museum of a Billion Spiders. Fuck! No! Fuck no! No! Burn that planet! Burn it! Oh my god! The Blue Gum. All major cities revolve on a singular pivot joint, no wider than a bison's eye. My god, the art for these planets is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, you've got nebulas, you've got star clusters out there. Oh wow, this one moves. Nesbeam. Delivers occasional proto-human wonder beings and world-eating villainary. Oh, I like that. A villainary. Did I say that twice? Wrong? Wow. The Cosmic Extraordinary. Looks different to everybody. I'll probably pick that one because it's a story, right? Galax Ram. Brewers of a milk that only Mark Hamill can drink. Transports all consumers to a Manchester dance party in September 1987. Oddly close to my birthday. Warble weird. Oh, this one I like. The whole civilization ratifies and institutes a new language every three hours. Wow. Wow. You think the ratifies part means they turn into rats? Or it's just got to do with the language? And we got 16A Park Street. <laughs> a whole planet. Just past Gluston Height off the M1. <laughs> this is random as hell. And we're back at the start. Okay, what are we thinking? As much as I want to go with the bug standard, Cosmic Extraordinary, um, I know, my brain tells me go somewhere else. Salt really is a must. It's true. It's true like that. I like to say like every meal is, is not worth a shite if it's not seasoned correctly. I would uh, say I can help you kind of bridge the Inazuma. No, I, I'm on Inazuma. It's just I can't do, I have to do something called Wishes, the Wishes quest or something. So I think it's the whole of the Inazuma story quest. It's just going to take me a while. So I'm going to miss out and stuff. The Nez Beam. Oh man, why they gotta do the spider planet? Motherfucker! What the fuck? Yes. Brewers of a milk. I wonder if these all just random. They do seem like random jumbled names. Um, yeah. Alright, let's go for this one. Fuck it. You truly from the cosmic extraordinary? Probably not. We'll go for it. Mm. I had a lot more. Yeah, I know. That's my own fault. I don't like to do the story. I think it's great. I, it's because I'm afraid of running out of stuff. I don't want to get to the point where there's nothing to do but just do dailies. So I always leave quests. But they updated so much, I don't know why I bought them. Star Gardens Midnight Whistle. Yeah, it's like a... What's it called? Like a, a, yeah, a late night show. Wow. In the 70s. That would have been like Jimmy Carson, right? Welcome back, Night Owls. This dude looks sick. I didn't know he had fur. Our last guest for all eternity is the naughty Shadow Houdini. The little, the little uh, rip every time I like it. I like, I like a little rip. An entertainer from beyond our That's naive Bill and Ted's all over. of reality. Welcome. Truly a pleasure. I'm manipulating the thoughts of your television audience. You see, we live in a society. What's that from? The Joker. I'm manipulating the thoughts of your television audience. This dude's kind of drippy, but then he got green shoes. You're from the Cosmic Extraordinary, correct? For now, yes. Uh, still visit when the occasion calls. Still visit when the occasion calls. Ooh. Tell me about it. The good old canned laughter. Um, sure. So you 
utopian civilization devoted to leisure and luxury. It's a gonzo war machine of constant laser battles. It occupies a time rift where nothing is ever where you left it. Let's go for this one. It's a utopian civilization devoted to leisure and luxury. Is it as wondrous as it sounds? Stunningly, every sunrise a vision, every touch an affair. Wow, that's that's quite poetic, actually. Give me constant premonitions of drowning. Oh, for fuck's sake. They've got spiders, and now they talk about drowning? What the hell is this, huh? Cyber's worst fears or something? The last cyber fear? Good God. I'm back, boys. Welcome back. Appreciate you coming back in. Why do they always have desks? Oh, it's just one of those things to separate the uh, the interviewer and interviewees or whatever. It's probably one, it's probably one of those things. There's a lot, of, a lot of talk shows that didn't have deaths and that didn't work out as well. Tried and true, I suppose. No, it's sort of cinematic. There's a soundtrack. That's when we can play it. Well, that's what the trampolines are for. All sorrow was cast into granite and sculpted into the form of a stallion. That's, that sounds sick. Sorrow be gone. All sorrow is cast in granite and sculpted. I thought they were going to say carbonate for a minute. What do they do with the statues? They join a herd that stretches from horizon to horizon. Your conquests seem outlandish, unbelievable in some cases. What would you say is your greatest achievement? Oh, I hate this question. I hate any of these questions. Where do you see yourself in five years? What's on your toenail? All those horrible questions. I don't know why people ask them. Commanding the Heavy Metal Light Brigade. Being the first soloist to jam with an alien mothership. Leading the space convoy of the infinitely loud galactic symphony. Ooh, I like this one. Commanding the heavy metal light brigade. A heavy metal military unit? Uh-oh. Were you in Psyops? I didn't know it was a military unit. Oh dear. Psyops, come. Performing the riffs so complex, they were intimidated into a full route. Oh, I start jamming, they start dancing. Let's just say it was the largest array of speakers assembled in the universe. Let's just say it Pope was the largest Genshin, array so chaotic. Of I bet. assembled in the universe. He's going to become the Joker. That's what I said. We live in a society. That bit is Joker, right? Thing, Joker is a great movie, but it's nothing I haven't seen before. And you can definitely see the influences uh, it got from uh, Taxi Driver. I actually think, I know it's a weird thing to say, but I actually think it's a little on the timid side, you know? There's people that's living a uh, very same existence as the Joker, and much, much worse, you know? You know, for him to be, to go that far, he clearly had some deep-seated uh, mental issues to begin with, right, you know? The, the, I think the, the freakiest thing about that whole movie is the, uh, the laugh, the whole idea that he has a, a condition that causes him to do that laugh. That that was messed up. It actually looked like it was hurting Joaquin Phoenix to do that. I know, I know it's fantastic acting. It's a great movie, but um, yeah. I, f I still find uh, Taxi Driver far more um, impactful, even now, you know? like, um, And it was definitely influenced by that. And there's nothing wrong with that at all, for sure. I like how it nods, uh, how Joker nods to... Um, the DC universe without ever ever relying on us. I think that's amazing. You know, you could give you have given him any other name. The fact that he's Joker is pretty cool. I would actually love to see them. There's talks of doing a sequel. I'd love to see them do a sequel and bring um, Todd Phillips' version of Harley Quinn into it. Now I know Harley Quinn has been done to death. And if I see fucking Margaret Robbie's Harley Harley Quinn one more time, I swear to God, I give someone else a chance. Um, but yeah, I'd love to see that. I'd love to see. This kind of, this this fucked up version of Harley Quinn. She's already pretty messed up anyway. But like to truly take a, a modern twist on it, you know, like someone maybe that's operating like a pill farm and killing off all these teenagers with fentanyl on the shit that's going on right now as we speak. But put it put it a, a twist on it, a Harley Quinn twist, you know. I'd love well well any of the fucking makeup or pigtails or any of that shit, you know. I'd love just what was it, Doctor Harley Harley Quinzel, right? That's what I'd love to see. Yeah, does laughing disorder a real thing? Probably. There's a, a laundry list of disorders we know nothing about. Movie despite the whole society bad memes. Yeah, I know, I know. That's the issue about that. When you when there's people who uh, genuinely have those issues going on, you know. 
and then they watch a movie like that it only actually um just solidifies everything they're going through instead of helping them because a lot of people genuinely like you, you know you hear these horror stories of what happens when they they reach their end and all that you know when they're, they're, they're lowest and most of it can just be fixed with them just getting back into society and and just talking to someone for god's sake you know isolation is is a curse for sure and um, but yeah it, that's the thing about it like he it just didn't seem that dark yeah there's definitely been that i think so too but the issue with it i fear is they knew it was a dc movie right so it was going to have that dc audience all comic book which you know ranges from anywhere as young as six years old you know obviously a six-year-old is not out there watching the joker movie but you never know you never know that like right now the, the big thing going on is uh, all these kids watching uh, squid game and I, i've watched um i've looked at a lot of videos i've looked at a lot of um discussions and forums talking about this and it is split down the middle you know it's split down the middle where everyone's everyone's you know the parents are like oh god no i'd never let my kids watch that and then you have the other half going yeah i sat there and watched it with them and just kind of explain what was going on but there's fucking blood and murder and everything going on there so uh yeah it's, it, that's becoming the the newest kind of uh the craze you know but uh, it, it, I, I still believe all that kind of stuff comes down to, uh, to parenting because you know Among Us was is huge in kids, but you don't see them going out, you know, destroying each other because you know they're sus in, in Among Us. They understand, and that's where the kind of cartoony side of Among Us helps. You know, right? I mean, the worst thing you're gonna see uh, in in that game is uh, the little, you know, the little dead dudes with the bone hanging out. It looks like a piece of meat. But Squid Game is real. You know, it's live action, it's real. So yeah, it's a bit different. So yeah, when it came to the Joker, maybe that's what kind of... I, I would have went further. I actually think, like, some of the stories that Heath Ledger's Joker tells are darker than the actual uh, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, you know? So at the end of the day, he just... You know, his mother was um, very sick. And of course, uh, I don't I don't know what, what led to that, right? Maybe just more mental illness, and it just kind of brushed off on him and all the lies and all that. It was, uh, it was kind of fucked up. It's a great, it's a great movie. It's another one of those kind of examinations uh, of the mind. But uh, there's far more darker shit going on in, in real life every day. Best, most overused character. Yeah, that's true. It was nice just to see them do something different. Because I think DC has a very unique opportunity to do that kind of stuff. You know, they might have some of the, the you know, they're definitely, a lot of people would say they're not as, might not be as good as, as, as uh, Marvel movies. Or at least not as good in the box office let's put it that way you know a good movie is, is pretty uh subjective but um yeah like you couldn't see marvel doing something as dark as joker you just couldn't it wouldn't work right now they're too deep-seated in disney and pg and all that kind of stuff you know like even this whole stupid debate around venom and how they cannot let them go full or with it is just annoying the fact that we don't have a venom game with two venom movies out is the stupidest thing ever and now we have to wait another two years until venom comes into spider-man she's just giving him his own game like i'd love that love that make it like you know hulk, hulk uh, ultimate destruction or prototype but with venom right and and then take like uh, inspiration from like the darkness with those creepy demons talking so you can play as as both sides of venom right that's what I would have done. It's just, it's so annoying. It's probably something that could happen in the next couple of years, but it's always like too little too late at that point. Um, but yeah, I, I would have loved them to even go further into, uh, the, right, right at the end of, of uh, Joker, you really start to see the, the manifestation of chaos in its purest form, and that's why he's so happy at the end, but you never, never get to see him in, like, I think if they put him in that moment, it would have to lean too far into, um, uh, you know, it, it would rely on too much, like, of DC and Batman would have to come in and all that kind of stuff. But uh, the way it's set, it's set well before. Like, at that point, Batman's only a kid. So, they have a lot of room, you know? They have a lot of room to really flesh it out and see the true transformation of Joker. But at this point, I, I would go, like, full R with it, you know? Like, harken back to the old days of the original Tomb Raider. Or not Tomb Raider, uh, Terminator. Sorry, fucking Tomb Raider. Uh, ter you know, just go really disgustingly go with it you want to see him do some truly heinous stuff because we know that the joker has no limits you know he's done some so just shooting a, a talk show host you know fair enough it's on live tv and all that it's fucked up but uh oh he he's done way darker stuff i even think like what he did to barbara gordon was some dark fucked up shit and uh, some of the arkham games kind of lean into a little bit without you know 
fucking up their age rating but I, I thought it was very cool there's some sick jokes he plays and that's um all all about what the joker is about you're like oh fuck yeah can you just scare me i'm only 16. yeah it's it's uh it's an interesting oh, what a it's an interesting generation like for sure that. to get out of the house for a night Marvel's way too PG. I know it's, and it, it, they were kind of that way anyway before Disney walls walls in because they know there's money in uh, kids, you know, there's money in kids for sure. It's always the way, but unfortunately, then you've now tied yourself down, where uh, it's, you could they could never do something as dark as Joker, and then they managed to do Joker while while you know being in the DC universe without being part, you know, having a, it was really cool, really clever. I want to see more standalone like, stuff like that. I really do really outside the box literally and, and i'm hoping this is uh, a sign that they're not afraid to do that as well you know so that's i feel like that's what's happening with some of the dc stuff the first wonder woman was a little bit different a lot of fun second one was just cookie cutter really really poor form and that's also what happened with guardians of the galaxy first one very funny very different it felt like the whole movie was like an ad lib it almost was up there with like the 80s classic comedies you know and the second one Ah, oh, just yeah, I don't know. That's that's what you worry about. It's all just become on the same thing with just a different superhero on the front. Boop. You want your face carving Joker? Ooh. Yeah. Bop bum. They're trying to branch out the multiverse. Yeah. Even when they go dark in parts of their movies, you know, or some of the dark ones, it's never that dark. It's just a little messed up moment, you know? Yeah, it would be cool. To drown out the voices just for a while. There's been much made about your escape from the planet. How did it happen? It must be important what I pick here. To a portal in the inside of a giant's eye. I feel like I'm just lying. On a starship made from champagne flutes. Stowed away on a combat set. I don't know. Through a portal on the inside of a giant's eye. I feel like I'm lying. Oh, a giant? What style? Retro. Unspecified. Oh. Uh, the beast. Snout in the clouds. Volcanoes for hands. <laughs> Menagerie of wildlife all mushed together. A hulk of biomass. I like this one. Unspecified. Amorphous. Uh, hard to describe. A horror. Huge eye, though. No. Uh-huh, how did you bring it down? Spectacular volley of foul language. <laughs> Guitar saw the punch the hole in the sky. The swift, almost invisible left jab. I'm gonna do this one. A spectacular volley of foul language. Sounds like me. <laughs> I'd love to hear it sometime. Oh, uh, melt your ears. It's a dizzying tale. I wonder what kind of creature would be born from these strange circumstances. What would they dream? Love, fear. Oh no. What scares you? What? Oh no. Scares. Me. Don't don't ask it. He looks like he has cardboard glasses. Uh, hello. Where would I begin? My uncle, to live between a towering shadow. Be true life quietly and fade away. So these are all things part of Francis's life. To live beneath a towering shadow. You feel dwarfed by the achievements of others. Dwarfed to the point of being considered purely. Oh well. I feel obliterated by them. We all have mountains to climb. I feel obliterated by them. It's a storm ahead of me, behind me, bulging in my peripheries. Sometimes it reminds me of the like the stretching horizon to the horizon. questions you would be asked Doesn't in like uh, Until Dawn and, and all of those the Dark Pictures anthology games. Though, if you don't mind me saying, these sound like the worries of a terrestrial teenage boy. Uh oh. Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not. True. Mm, the dreary doldrums of a humanoid. He's on to you. Grief or grandeur? No, totally untrue. You've been found You're out. You're lying to our live studio audience, aren't you? Uh oh. He's they getting angry. Affable, I know, but they're ravenous. 
I was, I was, that's what I was saying, he was lying. What? You're gonna be eaten alive by the audience. We're all hungry for blood out here. Fuck. Once Lightman knew we planned to eat him, he never came back. Oh, Jesus! What? But that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. You've been at you the been... He's gonna yeah. eat you! Pleasure to be here. That got really dark. Yes, but we're not really. You need to play Genshin. Here. Yeah, I know. I, I, uh, the day I was streaming it, you weren't here. It's all good. Not really. We'll find Anywhere time. At all? May have to fight this guy. <gasps> Tone ships so fast. I know. Hello. I like that. Hello. We're getting a little look behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Behind. The crevices of your mind, where all the snickerdoodles hide. Snickerdoodle! There's more of the Star Gordon. I like, I like glitchware like that. I like that a lot. I try and find gifts and all the stuff with, with the glitches in them. Something you avoided. Oh, that was cool. Did we get our suit back here? Nope. That was nice. That was nice. Seems a little too normal. Welcome to the studio. Star Gordon? <laughs> Lost your head in there, little hen. Sir, dude. Oh, I thought you were going to shoot the coop. Sorry. I kind of forgot where I was. Mm. What I was doing. That happened a lot. How much time passed? Yeah. It's kind of my thing. It wasn't terrible for a first try. Now, time to cut a track. When do we get back to the long... New here, ain't you? The cosmic extraordinary is not linear. Okay. It moves around, wears disguises, loops itself in rhythms. I've never been in a real recording studio. Oh, made all kind of records here. Got a bootleg of the first drum. Mm -hmm. Now, why don't you play a few notes to give me some levels? All right, play single notes using the music key. All right. A revelation. But I'm getting a, a little buzz in here. Like an audience unimpressed by a hackneyed magician. Mm -hmm. You getting that? No. Think you'll need a little mountain reverb. Hold on to something. Oh, crap. Sure. W wait, what? Need to set the stage. Cool. Things flying. This is your shot, kid. Time for performance. What the hell are those? Oh my god. Those big skeletons. Just what happened guy. to these guys? Saw a glamour gone. Wow. So spectacular they couldn't look away, poor bastards. So they're dead. Oh my god, this glamour swearing gone. cracks me up. Lightman jammed with the glamour gone. Yeah, yeah, that's going back. The trick is, you have to be more spectacular than the Glamagon. I've got a Glamagon of my own. We've all got Glamagons, I suppose. Glamagon! this performance, you are the Glamagon. Promise me you'll play as if your dreams were now memories. And the wonders of reality were all within your reach. Wow. Whoa!
I'm doing it. This is so cool. Nutted so hard it blew the skulls apart for sure. Yes, that's a bit nutty. I did that. I nutted them all. Nutter butter. Everybody gets them. Scrap. That was fun. I think I nutted them also. I too have nutted. New Cabri's nutted. Creamy on the outside, creamy on the inside. It's just nut. That was the trip of a lifetime. Oh, say can you see? I've soiled myself again. That was kind of cool. Aha! Star Gordon. What did you get us? Enjoy the ride. I'm not sure where it began or where it really ended. Yeah, how long exactly. have we been trapped here? It's always a thrill when someone gets it. Never experienced that and like it. I've never experienced anything like it. Maybe you're a little closer to finding the road you ought to be on. Out here, it feels easy, like like I'm where I'm supposed to be. And that's good, isn't it? A little furry little I guy has so. it cracks me up. It's supposed to be hard, making serious stuff. It's supposed to be painful. No. If it comes easy, I feel like I'm not trying hard enough. You're a weird kid. <laughs> if you remember anything, remember this. You're your weird. story is who you are. And once someone knows the road you're on, they cannot help but imagine where it leads. Mm, it's hard to find a road, though, isn't it? Thanks, Star Gordon. I'll remember. You know, it was the trip of a lifetime. I'll remember. The way back to the cosmic lung? It's in the lake. Thank you. Goodbye. It's in the lake. It's not a lake, it's an ocean. Across the glacier. I just like pressing that button. It's so pretty. The dawn of a new day. Feels a little more encouraged than what he's doing. What the hell is that joke there? Gonna find out. Nice! Holy! Whoa! It's kinda cute! Looks like a narwhal! And a monkey! A well, monk wall! That's it! You've woken us up! Oh, us. We no are legion. We must be entertained. Look at look at the shape. We're gonna have a little boss fight here. I am the naughty Shab Houdini from the Cosmic Extraordinary General of the Heavy Metal Light Brigade. See? Everything we chose. Mm. We find you in We sitting here trying to get primos. To get chill day. Oh, I know. I'm saving up for Hotel. I'm hoping she's coming next. But I'm kind of like, if I've already like 40 spent, so I'm getting close to that like 90 pity. So you're always like, do I spend now and try and get chill day? Because he is cool. It's a pity you can't like turn him into Tartaglia because he's fucking cool too. And I before that, he has two elements that way, right? Here's something I was thinking of uh, that might happen in the future. 
uh, finally. Now, they might start bringing in double elements to uh, for people in Genshin. Kind of like how Pokemon did it, you know? And call them, like, split visions. Uh, and you then, then you could have stuff like, you know, fire and ice and, you know, pyro and cryo and all that kind of stuff. I think it'd be cool because there's a, I think there's a lot of characters that their visions and their elements don't really match that well. Like, take Sayu for a second. For She looks like she could be Dendro, right? But Dendro has not been introduced yet. So they've given her animal and she's turned into little Sonic. The Sonic the Hedgehog memes about her are so funny. But uh, she would be perfect. So they could make her animal and Dendro. In, in the future. Hu Tao's, yeah, I really want Hu Tao. I missed out, I wasn't playing it at the time. When I joined, I think it was Zhong Li, he was there. And I kind of miss, I missed that I, I pissed that I missed her. The next one, Ganyu would be great for her to come back. And then there's, I think there's going to be a new character, right? Aito, he's almost like a, he has like a, a demon horns on him. He looks almost like a, what did they call those? Those Japanese demons, um, well, I can't think. I can't think of what it's called. But one of those crazy masks. That's cool. I, 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 do you think they'll eventually like take a break? Like, they've updated that game now for a year and a half straight, which is insane. You know, it's different. You know, when Fortnite did it, it's different. They've got like 800 employees just working on Fortnite, and it still only came up with like concerts. But I mean, the concerts in the game are cool. But the fact that they're next to not interactable at all it seems a bit strange to me. They are. Unbelievable or like the Ariana Grande one was crazy. I'm like damn, but just to have idiots in the corner doing dances and jumping around kind of Ruins the immersion. You should give them stuff to do That's what I would do And Oni yeah, that was it. There's another one as well There's another one as well. It has like an it's like ogre or something, but yeah, you're right It's kind of like that from what I've learned visions are given depending on if the archon can yeah It seems to be like all of the elements are based on an emotion, right? So uh, pyro is like uh, like for passion, passionate stuff for that. They seem to all have sad stories as well. All right, time for a boss. No a fleck of litter. No, that's not. Time to rise up. We must be inter oh, we must be friends. All right. Uh, I went up. Don't chicken out. This is your moment. This is your time. Let's do this! Wom, wom. I have the power! Your laser show reminds me of Lightman. Ooh. Well then, let's dance. Let's dance. Let's go. What you got? Hey, what the hell? I was right. What's funny is after the first tutorial, if you don't remember the buttons, you're ruined. And that's what happens to me sometimes. Wow! It really is like Simon says. Holy moly! You are one fantastical beast. And where to find them? Alright, round two! What you got? It does a little nod to say. Well done, you're not a complete idiot. Oh, oh god. Two at a time? I can't do that. Wait, how do I get that one? Uh oh. That's that's really hard, god damn it. What's that one? No, I can't I can't do that one. God damn it. Oh, I'm gonna get wrecked here. Two at a time is tough. It's not your usual. Like if it was Y and B, it'd be fine. Nothing like that at all. All right, here we go. Damn, we're just getting more and more speakers. What the? No. I get it right. Maybe you don't have to do them together. Okay, she said that was right. Yeah, 
Yeah! What? I felt right. No? Oh, she's not happy with that. I, I think they do have to be together. Yeah. Come on. One more. Whew. Oh. You gonna change the camera on me? More. I gotta keep an eye on it. This is crazy. I knew that wasn't the end. Oh. Oh. Bring it. See, the camera change is what's screwing me more than anything. We're flying through the cosmos right now. Did it. This is the Heliotrons. A fresh, undeniably. It is a gift. And one gift. I definitely had a few errors there. Stay Moonlight good. Butterfly. Yeah, right. Getting thick as well. And Moonlight I Butterfly. Thick. Your image across the known universe. Whoa. The known universe? On every spectrum, station, and frequency. From the greatest metropolis to the smallest mountain town. Is he ready for that? I don't think so. Bah. Well, step into the light. That's pretty heavy. That's enormously heavy. You refuse. Uh-oh. It's because, well, it's kind of complicated. You got stage fright. People think I'm going to replace a hero. I'm a pretender. The worst kind of pretender. I'm supposed to be insightful. Someone serious. Oh. People think I'm going to replace a hero. You're ashamed of what you have become. No. I don't know. I feel sorry for you, friend. I really do. For this decision may haunt your entire life. Wow. No, dude. I gotta do all this, do I? Oh, no. Oh, God. You shouldn't have said no. Gross! Oh, that'll take us back to the cosmic lung. I wonder if we have any other choice. Maybe if you don't make any mistakes. Who knows? Hey, Swampy, how's it going? Happy Thursday. Yeah! Cheers, man. I hope you're doing well. We're playing the uh, the Artful Escape. It's one hell of a mindfuck. This is the loading screen. I don't know how long this game is. I'm enjoying it. It's pretty batshit insane. Why have you been playing yourself lately? Won't be long now until uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Welcome back to the Cosmic Long. The Cosmic Pussy, more like. Yes. That trip? Tripping balls, man. Is a real freak out. <laughs> 